Good morning, everybody. What? <laughs> OBS, please. There we go. Good morning, everybody. We should be live on all the things now. Uh, I'm going to double check that real quick. It looks like Twitch is still kind of behind a little bit, which is concerning because I, I haven't messed with the integration with Twitch in a long time, so it's entirely possible that Twitch has just given up on us. I'm going to go ahead and check that real quick, and then once we are kind of sure that that is squared away. I'll probably hop onto my mage for a little bit because Jess isn't quite here yet. Okay, yeah, we're good. We're good. Maybe Restream is the one that's dropping the ball a little bit. Um, yes, it should be fine to leave all those sites. Got all the things out there. Let's hop on. So my mage is 29. Very, very close to hitting 30 now. Uh, oof. Hi. Hey, when you come over, would you mind getting me a cup of water since I'm, like, situated already? Thank you. Uh, so yeah. Changed up our interface ever so slightly, found a new setting for that. Uh, and I have a new mouse I'm playing with, so we're probably going to die horribly the first time I try to do anything on this mage. Because everything, when you're AoE pulling, everything is, like, super temperamental. If you mess up one thing, you're probably dead. And I don't legitimately even know where my my blizzard is on my new mouse wheel. Like, okay, so here, I'll even show you guys if I can. Yeah, I can put this up here. So I got this new mouse. This is the new one. It has seven buttons on the side instead of six, and they're positioned differently. See how it goes like one, two, three, and then four and five are on the other side? Like, it's really, really weird, and I'm trying to get used to it instead of just changing the slots on all my spells and stuff, because I think that there's... I'm just going to end up fighting with it more if I don't just get used to the way that they swap the, the buttons on me. Especially since they probably aren't going to be making the original Razor Naga Hex anymore. Uh, so I'm going to just go ahead and try to get accustomed to this. We'll probably wipe on a couple of AoE pulls. Or we'll get lucky because I like lately I've been able to do these really, really nice AoE pulls in Hillsbrad Mines. Where I can go in and just get about like 12% of a level in like 5 minutes, 10 minutes. So that's, that's pretty nice. Uh, and... I mean, where we're at right now with the rested XP we have, a couple of successful pulls through Hillsbrad Mine could actually get me to the next level pretty quickly. Uh, I am 29 though, so I may not actually want to hit the next level right away, because if I hit the next level right away, then I'm going to go into the next bracket of PvP, and I was doing some PvP on this mage. I've never PvP'd on a mage, so like I had no idea what I was doing, and uh, Jess was actually coaching. Oh, okay, she was she was about to speak up if I hadn't said that, so apparently that had to be mentioned. Um, anyways, the thing I that I found... Oh, are you? She is a PvP master, she says. Uh, anyways, so the thing that I noticed was really cool about PvP on a mage is that... Oh, and this is in a bad spot, so I'm gonna move that. Um, is that you can use Blizzard pretty effectively. Like, if you just wait for the teams to kind of hit each other and start fighting, then you can just Blizzard, and it's hilarious because you just end up hitting everybody. And, like, the enemy team, they either have to focus kill you, because if they don't focus kill you, their whole team gets slowed and they die over time anyway, or they have to scatter. Like, because of people's tendency to bunch up in PvP, you can just totally take advantage of that with Blizzard. And then, like, I wasn't using Polymorph enough, but Polymorph is a huge, huge escape. Like, the mage was actually much stronger than I expected them to be in PvP, because I'd always heard that in Classic they're actually not that great, because they're easy to nail down and then kill. Uh, but that was not my experience. I was able to blink, I was able to cheap people, I was able to use Cone of Cold, able to use Frost Nova. Tons and tons of ways to just get away from people, along with a mana shield that's pretty decent for absorbing damage early on. Uh, it's it's really, really nice, honestly, in PvP. Uh, I might do some more PvP on this. The only reason I didn't want to go into PvP right now is because there is a wait to get in, and then you have no idea how long the match is going to take, and I don't expect Jess to be too long before she gets here and I, I swap over to my warrior. Uh, what's my gear look like? 98%, so we don't need to repair that. All right, this is it, folks. We're going to go die real quick. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and throw my buffs on right now so that I'll regen the mana that it takes to- and actually, while I'm at it, I'm gonna conjure a mana agate. Is agate how that's pronounced? I- I think that- Huh? A agate or agate? Google it, that's the response. I'm not gonna Google it. Oh, I probably should have grabbed that quest, but that's okay. 
Uh, that's another thing I've been doing differently is I've been questing walleye AOE grind and that's actually even more efficient because a lot of the time the mobs you're AOE grinding are part of a quest like these guys are. Uh, they've got the little quest icon next to them now that I got questy installed. My distance thing like broke. It doesn't actually do what it's supposed to do anymore. Google blue. No. No. Uh, okay. So it does show that there we go. That shows that he's actually a quest mob that we should kill. Um, I'm not going to mess with him right now, though, unless we can get a couple of them. This is something I've been kind of working with lately, is trying to pull a couple of these guys in for the quest and then just AoE them down. Uh, but it really comes down to getting to the appropriate range to pull all of them. Like here, we could probably... Oh, I hit the wrong key. See, that that's one of the other problems, too, is that... I dared to look away for a moment because I was trying to track this guy as well. Uh, yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying. The water that I brought you, you want to complain more? You want to complain more? Because you, you can. Alright, we're going to lock him down. We're going to run away. We're going to get to about max range, and I'm going to hopefully hit the right key. That's the wrong key. Uh-oh. And that's how we die. Uh, I'm not actually going to die here because I can just cone of cold them to get a little kiting on. I can put my mana shield up. And just wait a few seconds for another Frost Nova. It's kind of good that I practiced here instead of actually in the mine, because I would have died in the mine. Like, there would have been no question. There we go. That's nice. Okay. So that's actually a pretty decent pull right there. I'm going to jump over here. And actually, I don't even need to finish them off with that. I think I can just do the... Dude, can you not? Why do you have issues? Just splash water in my face and on my keyboard. You know what? You're such a. We don't need her for this stream, okay? <laughs> hey, would you have died in the mine? Yeah, I would have died in the mine. Guaranteedly died in the mine. I probably will die in the mine when we get there. I am legitimately just practicing a little bit on this mage because I haven't actually played the mage since I got the new mouse. Hello there, friend. Obviously, if I die, though, it's totally the mouse's fault. It's not anything I did. Aw, oh, crap. I took too long. They're gonna get me. Okay, so that wasn't a perfect blizzard. Like, the placement was off. And they're probably gonna close distance on me pretty quickly here. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna back up Kona Cold to slow them down a little bit. See if I can buy just enough space to get another blizzard or even another cone of cold off would be nice. Uh, actually, just frosting over them. And then we have enough mana left for a rank one blizzard. That should be fine. Beautiful. Actually, it didn't kill them, so not quite what we wanted, but that's fine. Oh my god, I didn't like. I just hit like three keys that weren't the key that I wanted. That That's what's going to happen, and it's not going to cut it when we get to the mine. I may end up having to move things um, just because of the way that they changed my, my mouse thing around. The good news is, though, that I can change my key bindings here, and I should be able to activate everything except for this last slot right here off of my mouse and just the keys that are convenient to WASD movement. But I mean, that's that's something I haven't done yet. Like, if I slide everything over here and assign 7 and shift 7, the new mouse side thing having 7 buttons will account for that. Uh, it's just weird, because in the old... I like activating slots. Grant, were you here when I showed the side buttons on the old mouse? Or, I mean, on the new mouse? So the, the way that the old mouse worked, guys, was it was the, the Razer Naga Hex. So the one key was, like, at the front, and then it went 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 clockwise right now it goes one at the top or the front two three seven six five four so they they moved it for some reason and it just it's super uncomfortable and weird uh let's go for herbalism here we gotta trigger that so we can actually see plants while we're on our way i mean getting plants is not the biggest priority and like the one that's really gonna get me i know i'm gonna mess up the blink i know i'm gonna mess up the blink I'm going to practice using the proper button to blink here, because I know that I'm going to mess up the blink. I hate Naga Mice, really? 
I mean, this one's not the Naga. I forget what this one's actually called. It's like the new version of the Naga. It's got three interchangeable sides that I can put on. Uh, but I usually prefer to use, like, the MOBA side, even though I'm not playing a MOBA. So I've got, like, oh, it's called the Trinity. It says on the bottom right there. So, yeah, you can see how it's set up right there. Like, it's, it's not a bad setup. It's just weird that they decided to switch from clockwise to, like, I'm going to randomly change the numbers on you. Ha ha ha. Oh, that is a level 28 Alliance Mage. Should we try to kill them? I mean, we kind of have the drop on them here. I think we go for it. Let's go for it, guys. This is a good reason to die. Get him! You ain't going nowhere! Oh, look at that! Hey, that is like my first open world PvP kill. Oh, there's another one here. Okay, there's a couple of them here. Oh, this is bad. I'm about to die. Time to go. Time to go. There's at least two more mages right here that are Alliance, and I don't want to try to take them both on at once. <laughs> um... Oh, did you? Okay, it doesn't buzz me when I'm in game, so give me a second. Uh, I just want to make sure that the Alliance isn't following me, because they can, like, there's two of them, one of me. I'm not going to win that. I can't believe, like, it's really weird, though, because it didn't seem like she knew what to do at all. Like, she didn't fight, she just ran, and, like, she could have sheeped me and got away. Like, there's no reason not to just sheep me there. Can you blink out of sheep? I think you can blink out of sheep. Um, okay, so Jess is calling, which means that... Hello? What? Okay, so you're coming through fine. That should be good. Uh, so are you logged in already? Yes. Okay. Let's see. Um, can I do one pull real quick, B? And then I don't I'll, care. I'll swap over? Okay. Okay, we're we're going to try one pull here and see if I screw this up. Oh, oh, I already screwed it up. I got to go. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> no, 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 no. We don't pull with, like, no mana and uh, none of our buffs. Well, I guess our buffs are mostly on. But not having mana is not a, not a good thing. We want to have full mana here so that we can absorb more damage with mana shield without being oom. Um, uh, and I want to eat this real quick. I do have cooking on this character, so we eat the sage fish or the smoke sage fish because that'll give us mana over time, which is very useful for this. Uh, that's actually saved my life a couple of different times here. Ah, that was all itchy. Okay, so now we should be ready for this. We're gonna try to pull like four or five of these mobs and then group them up, and then we can freeze them down and burn them down. Uh, and we'll see how much of a percentage we get from that because right now we're at 36%. So let's see. It's usually, it's really nice when you can get about 4% each pull. Uh, that doesn't happen every time, but it's nice when it does. Come on. Come on. Everybody was chasing me. Come on. Hi. Oh, that was not the right key. Okay. I just accidentally used invocation there. We did land the blizzard, though, so that's good. Kiting jump, more blizzard. They should get to me just in time for me to frost over them and kill them. Oh yeah. All right, frost nova. Have a little cone of cold, and that was clean. That was clean right there. That's not even a large pull though. That's like four guys. When I was in the cave, I was doing pulls with like, you know, eight to ten at, at certain points. And that's when it gets really, really messy, because if you mess up on an 8 to 10 mob pull, you're just dead. Uh, so we got 3% there. That's actually not too bad. Um, but you can pull all the way through this cave right here. You do have to stop and, like, re-mana after every pull, though. I'm gonna go ahead and just log out now, though, so that we can switch over to our warrior. And join up with Jess, who will be probably doing tailoring stuff. Do you still need more mats, B? Did I send you mats last? I can't remember if you burned through everything I sent you already. 
Uh, yeah, I need silk and spider silk, so we gotta go. We should go quest where we were questing before in Hell's Breath. Okay. Yeah, I don't like the guild that our, our characters are in, but I like our tabard better than the, the guild that I do likes tabard. Like, this tabard is black and purple and looks cool. Oh, I can't zoom with my mouse. Um, I can zoom with this, but that's not great. Uh, I I reconfigured my mouse or my key bindings for my hunter and forgot that that changes them for everybody. So I'm going to go to character specific and do this. Zoom in, mouse wheel up, zoom out. Click OK. There we go. Uh, I found a nifty trick on hunters where if you like use your mouse wheel in and your mouse or your zoom in, zoom out to send your pet in and out instead you can basically use the mouse wheel to control how your pet engages. Like, you can actually make your pet dance around. I'm having a lot of fun on my hunter. Uh, okay, I'm gonna invite you, BB. I'm still using the, uh, the old layout for this one. And interestingly, my party frames are turned off now, because those should be there, but whatever. Uh, are you still in Undercity, B? Uh-huh. Okay. I am at the Flight Master making sure I don't need to bank a ton of stuff, which I actually do. Because I did some engineering, but we're done doing engineering. It's time to bank stuff. Uh, unless I want to make a... Oh, I don't have an anvil, so I'm not making bombs. I like explosives, but I, I'm not near an anvil, so we're not going to be making any of those. Uh, stash, stash. No, I don't want to shift click. I just want to... There. Send it all away. I do need the ammo. Don't need, don't need, don't need, don't need, don't need. Pretty much send most of this stuff back over without too much of an issue. Oh, I think I made guns to sell. That was like the last thing I did was made guns to sell on the market. I should go see if they actually sold. Oh, I do have mail. Okay. Uh, I am going to be up by the flight master in the mailbox whenever you want to take off, BB. Okay. Let's go check that mail and see if we made the money money. That's eh, not too bad. We've got 17 gold combined on the server, which isn't great. Like, oh my god. Uh, I, I'm blown away by how much the mount costs are in Classic. Like, it's crazy. Okay, so two of my guns sold for two gold each, which is really good. And the third didn't sell at all. Which is still not too much of a problem, because I could just relist it. Oh. What? I, um, I bought a new bank slot, and I made myself a bag to put in it, but I don't know how to put the bag in here for the... Oh, uh, one second. Where the fuck did it just go? Oh shit. There's, there's a tab just like on the inventory B that reveals your bag slots in the bank, I think. No. Oh, I just right-clicked it when I had my bank open, it disappeared. But the slots didn't show up until I ran away and opened it up again. Oh, okay. Janky. Stop being poor. <laughs> hey, man, it's not easy to make gold in Classic, but I'm up to to 14 now, which isn't bad. Like, I'll, I'll hit 100 by the time we're ready to get mounts anyway. I probably won't hit 300 by the time I'm ready to get mounts on three different characters, uh, which means I'll, I'll have to pick one and prioritize. I'll probably get the mount on this one first, that way if uh, Jess gets her mount, I can at least keep up with her. And then I'll do my... I think my mage will be the second one I get a mount on, just because... Well, I mean, he gets around pretty fast anyway. Mage's having blink is a huge speed increase, and my other character is a hunter, so that he can use Aspect of the Cheetah and stuff to kind of buzz around a little quicker as well. Um, I, I strategically picked my characters based around what would be able to move quickly. <laughs> Uh, and also clear things quickly. Okay, I'm gonna hop on the flight path to, uh, Hillsbrad, BB. Okay. What is it? Need to do... Hello, Flight Master. Uh, I've been trying some different things to make money, though, Grant. Like, I, I went to Ratchet the other day, and, like, I... You are I... a Ratchet. What? I said you are a Ratchet. Why are you so quiet? I don't know. Can you hear me better now? Healer! Uh, yeah, one second, one second. Let me check something. 
Okay, no, that's going to... Well, I guess I can check it like this. Okay, cool. So that... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Nice. Okay, that works. So I can... Because of my new sound setup, I can actually lower the game volume without lowering what comes through to the stream, which is nice. Okay, now say something, baby. Bueller. Okay, that's better. Um, anyways, so like... I don't know, it's, it's not that I'm specifically poor, I'm just looking for different ways to make money. Like I said, I went to Ratchet and I found a bunch of like, uh, you know, limited stock recipes there that sell for a reasonable amount of gold and I bought those and threw them on the market, but none of them sold, so... It's one of those things where like, you can see that, you know, in the history of the auction house, this one sold for nine gold, but it's not selling at all right now. So we'll see what happens. Uh, I would... I would have a lot of gold if those things sold. That's why my mage doesn't have very much right now. Like, he used to have, like, 20 gold, but then I bought a bunch of that stuff and listed it, and now I'm just waiting for that to sell. I should have checked my mail when I logged into him a minute ago, too, but I didn't. Um, and then with my hunter, like... I don't know. I haven't... I don't have a really good method for making money on my hunter yet. But he is skinning, so, like, in reality, if I just sold all the skins that I got, I'd probably be fine. Oof. I had a new chair, and I'm... Yeah. Valorant ready this time? Uh, I don't know. No, because I don't have it default load the Vanguard stuff anymore. Um, okay. So we're on our way to Terran Mill. I didn't shut Valorant off this time, I just didn't have it on because it's not, like, it uses resources to have that open and I don't want to deal with it when I'm recording and stuff. You just don't want me with the best. Yeah, because Valorant is Overwatch, B. Yeah, except for on one of them, when you shoot people, they die, and on the other one, when you shoot people, they make funny noises. Hey, BB. Oh no, now you're echoing in the background. Oh, well, you're not picking up on I don't need to hear mic. two of you. You know what? What? You're pretty sassy today. You ever gonna come to Terran Mill or are you just gonna stand at your bank? You go to the page and click the follow button again. It's like everything else you can subscribe to and unsubscribe to on the internet. It's okay, BB. We know you're a boomer. You're not coming through audio anymore. Okay, well, the stream can't hear you at all either. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Oh, holy crap. All right. That seems really good. But it's a gold. I don't want to spend a gold on that, even though it seems really good. It looks cool, too. Uh, really, though, I should stick to axes. Is that strength? No, it's agility. I don't need an agility axe right now. And I'm pretty sure there's a quest line here that when we finish it gives like a really, really solid axe. I can't remember what it's called though. Is it this one dangerous? No, that'll give me a shield that's garbage for me. Good to know. Hey, what's up, Morbids? Uh, we are just hanging out. Jess and I are hanging out and playing WoW. Hi. Uh oh. B, can you turn your mic? No, they can't. Can you actually turn your mic on though so the stream can hear you? Oh, it got muted somehow. Okay. That that's what I was trying to tell you, but you were too busy. Hey. 
Hey. Hey. Yeah. Shut up. Didn't I finish what last week, Morbids? Uh, Are you okay? Who? You. Yes? Uh, no, we we didn't finish WoW last week. We're level 21, the cap is 60, and then there's rating and all that stuff, so... No, we didn't finish WoW last week. Um, okay. So, I'm gonna change my quest sorting to by level. So that we can work on the lowest level stuff first. Uh, so we need to do the rescue, which is... Over in the place we already went with all the humans in the keep. Buff. Buff. Okay. We gotta go this way. Don't tell me what to do. I was just trying to- Don't tell me what to do! Sometimes I feel like I'm dating a tenure- I'm glad I stopped myself. <laughs> Everyone knows where you're going with it. That was too late. Uh, yeah, that would have been rough. Um, okay. Sagefish schools. Yes, I wish I was on a character that could actually fish them. <gasps> ay, ay, ay. Welcome to the yawning stream. What? Nothing. Divorce you. Oh, are you? Yeah. <laughs> no, Grant, I didn't actually say that. I thankfully stopped myself shy of saying that. <laughs> B, did you know that these turtles, as hunter pets, have like a special ability that gives them ridiculous armor? Wait, what? These turtles right here, they're some of the, the ones you can grab that have like ridiculous armor as a hunter pet. They have a special ability called like shell something. I think it's shell shield. They're like one of the best tanky pets you can get. Ugh. No, I haven't seen it, Morbits. Um, but like, I'm in the the. Uh... Wow, my Why brain. Why are you following me? I'm following you, and now we're just running in circles around each other. I mean, how is this any different than real life? No, I'm in charge in real life. Oh, are you? Yeah. That's BS. Um, anyways. No, Morbid's what I was gonna say. I'm part of the VIP program, though, so, like, I've been able to to play with some of the new stuff. I'm not allowed to talk about it, but yeah, I... There's a lot about that stuff that's very exciting to me. Uh, I think there's, a uh, like... Morbid's, did you see the video I did about Humankind when they did the press tour? Uh, cause I talk about stuff that is at least tangentially tied to the ideology thing. Yeah, there's there's a lot that you could do with the ideology system. There, There is a lot that it is capable of. What actually ends up getting done, time will tell, but uh, there is a lot that it is actually capable of being used for. So I'm, I'm excited for that system as well. I'm excited to see where they get with it because uh, what I, I can say is that I, I have become more and more impressed with it over time in the VIP program. So that's, that's fair because I'm not giving anything away. I'm just sharing a tangential opinion, I guess. Uh, hello there, friend. Oh, I haven't played my hunter, or my, I mean my warrior at all with this mouse either, so we'll see how this goes. Uh, three should be there. That wasn't two, that was one. Okay. There's really no excuse for hitting the wrong one key, because the one key is the only key that's in the same spot. So there's my Sunders, already have my Shout up. Uh, this should be Hamstring, there we go. Very nice. Wow, we're just burning these guys down now though. What level are we? Oh, we're 21 to 21, okay. I think the other time we came in here, we were like under leveled and that's what made it kind of tough. Uh, there is that. Yeah, the location of the 2 and 3 key throws me off a lot, because I, I don't expect them to be where they're at. Oh, I think that's because of, yeah, the placement of the 1 key was different too, because it wasn't dead center previously. 
Plus this week I learned how to use Arcana properly in the Ardent Mages. Uh, I mean, what, what, what do you mean use Arcana properly? Like, is Arcana, I, I can't remember, it's been so long since I've played them. Is Arcana their placement like thing where they can put down their, uh, their different pillars? Is that what you're talking about? The pillars? Yeah. How do you, how were you using them before? Like they're, they're pretty clear how you're meant to use them. Like, uh, you essentially just build around them. You build a city design that takes into account that you're going to be using pillars. Uh, we can overpower here, but instead I thunder stomped because I'm not used to the mouse. Well done. Well done. Oh gosh. I have to figure out how to use my taunt combo with this, because that's going to be useful at some point. Uh, so there's somebody to rescue over here and somebody to rescue over here. Which side do you want to do first, B? Uh, I don't care. Okay, let's go do this one then, because there's only like one thing over here. Can we climb this tree to get out of here? Like, is this an entrance and an exit? Because if it is, this is going to save us a lot of headache. Oh yeah, baby! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's fine. Uh, taunt. Taunt. Get some aggro. Mash random buttons and have no idea what I'm doing. Okay. So far, so good. The mashing of random buttons seems to be working. Uh, let's go ahead and use that shout and then bleed. Uh-oh. We got another one. Alright, I'm out of mana now, so don't be stupid. Uh, okay. I will try. Can you not hit her? That'd be great. Hit me. Hey, you too. Hit me. Taunt. I taunted the wrong one. Well done, me. Hey, what's up, Lazy? How you doing today? I only had them Hi, at Lazy. Arcana level Where's 1. Where's Lazy at? Is he on YouTube? Uh, yes. Lazy is on YouTube. Okay, I should probably wait since I pulled nearly half of this area. And I kept you alive. You are welcome. Thank you. I also kept you alive, but thank no. you. Okay, you're right. I totally didn't pull two or three mobs off of you that would have potentially caused you to run out of mana sooner and got us both killed. I yes, I hide on YouTube. Alive. Okay, and it you? It was all me. Okay, well, I'm glad to see that you're modest. I'm gonna try to pull him back a little ways. There we go. Uh, so the guy we're here to save is in that house. How's your Saturday morning going, Lazy? Bam! Get wrecked. Uh-oh. Okay. I'm gonna need you. I have faith in you. You don't need me. You got this. Come on, come on, come on. Look at me. Look at me. Oh, get oh, the runner! Oops, I'm giving you all my shit. It wasn't clicked on me. That's okay. That guy that just ran off might pull more dudes back. Oh, he did. <laughs> that's that's why I said get the runner. I didn't hear you. I'm listening to music. Oh my god, we're dead. Yeah, we're we're pretty much dead. Maybe I can spare us a little bit with this. <laughs> Did you just grab a nut? No, I didn't! Yeah, that, that full health syndicate shadow mage grabbed itself. I did! <laughs> Bullshit! You ran out back, right? And then there was a- And there was no one back there and I turned around before I pulled anyone else, so suck me. <laughs> okay, well, we're going back. Maybe you should have grabbed the runner, tank. Why can't you hold aggro? 
Do you understand how human mobs work in this game? Bite me. No, I mean, you, you just said that, Bite so me. do you understand how human mobs work Bite in this me. game? This is always the tank's fault. Why do you pull more than you can handle? We could handle that room if the person who was standing near the door when the runner ran by would have hit the fucking person that had one HP left. I, you know what? You can blame me. I probably could have targeted them and used my no, gun I'm to finish them. I'm not healing you anymore. Divorced. Oh, God. This is what I deal with, guys. This is what I deal with. Uh, why, would, some... why would anyone want to marry someone who sucks at WoW? Jose unfallen pole lazy there. Excuse me? Excuse me? Should we duel again? Yeah, you want to have Valorant ready next time? Why should I marry somebody who sucks at WoW? Should we duel again? Yeah, you want to play Valorant? That, uh, that's not exactly... We're not going to duel when you told me that I was playing the priest to heal you. Now, if you want me to go level a warlock, yeah, I'll fucking duel you. Excuses, excuses. Oh, I'm gonna level a warlock now and whoop your ass. You're gonna level a warlock, that's fine. You level your warlock and we'll see what happens. She's right, you know? <laughs> Alright, I rezzed on the- you can rez on top of the roof here, B, for safety. You hear me? Yeah, I heard you. I don't have any food. Pro warrior, guys. No food. Um... Oh yeah, 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 I got level 5 on Monster Train. I'm like 10 levels behind you and Grant. I'm- I'm the worst Monster Train player of the group. Sounds like J-Mac is tired of carrying you- <laughs> You know what? All of you can... Fuck off. <laughs> okay, so we got a rogue down there and a watchman. The rogue should probably die first. So I'm gonna be going after that. Um, and I has a buff plus. At you, level 13 in Monster Do you see me Monster relaxing Train. right here? Do you see me relaxing? Do you see me right here? Do you right see here. me poking you for a buff? Hey. Hey, hey, can I have a buff? No buff for you. Now I'm just gonna pull everything so we can die. I mean, that's pretty counterproductive for you too, but if you're interested I'm in hurting yourself... Here. Did you hear him grunt at us? He knows we're up here, but he can't reach us. <laughs> I wonder if I can just shoot him from here. Should I just shoot him from here? You probably can. Aww. His health might just, does his health go back up? Yeah. Uh, he evades. They were like, no cheesing this. <laughs> you can still hear him hurting her. But you know what I can probably do from up here, but it won't, no, this won't work either. I can heal you up here from up here, I'm pretty sure though, if you jump down. You gonna do that? Okay. Stay safe. <laughs> That's perfect. You're like 100% safe up there. That guy wasn't even hitting me. He's just staring at you on the roof like I don't know what to do. I've had enough of your shit. <laughs> Uh, no. I can put dots on them now that you're able to hit them. He just died outside because of my my dot. There you go. That's great. Dots so to kill runners. Apparently, as long as you can hit them, I can. Oh, but my wand. I don't know why my dot gets on them and not my wand. Maybe there's a range component to the dot. I don't oh, know. Oh, now my wand's getting them. He does keep that one. Kept turning around and looking at me too. <laughs> okay. We gotta rescue this guy now. I wonder if I can just talk to him. You might be able to stay safe up there. Uh, I wanna come loot this body that ran outside. Oh, okay. Oh, son of a- we need a key to free him. There's a chest in here too, though. Just gonna go ahead and open this chest. I can, it's locked. Um, oh, there's two chests. J-Mac has the best plans. Oh, food! Food is good. Saw a bit of Old World last week. I it's have, looking interesting. Good evening. Hey, what's up, Kat? I need some. 
Did you hear me? Yeah, I heard you. Thank you, Bigby. Yeah, if we had a row, we could pick it. Oh, and if I had c charges now, we could blow it open. Uh, so we basically just have to kill people until we get a key to free him. So I'm going to shoot this person and pull them around the corner. Come on. Come on. Hi. What's up? He hit you with my stick real quick. Uh, saw a bit of Old World last week. Yeah, Old World is pretty cool. I'm I'm going to start, I think, a new playthrough of that on the, the next episode. Because we've gotten kind of far with Roma, but it's been a few updates and stuff. And I, I think it makes sense to start over. Um, and Kat, while you're here, I saw your YouTube comment. I'm pretty sure that, like, maybe it was just a coincidence. But those uh, those ambitions got switched to legacies in that when the, the patches came through. Like, on each patch day is when that happened. Boom. Pull him back. Bury me low. Hello. Let me just go ahead and sunder your armor a little bit real quick. Bury me low. Go ahead and get my shout up. Uh, had the first grocery shopping trip in ages today between the kitten coming out in the hedge in front of the shop and the cashier addressing me as madam. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. I'm glad you had a good time out. Um, I'm at level 13 in Monster Train. Yeah, I just hit five, lazy. But like, I've been I've been doing better. Like, I actually uh, I actually had somebody message me on Discord and be like, "I'm really enjoying your Monster Train videos, and you do seem to be getting better," which is largely thanks to your your let's, tutelage. Let's talk about the kitten. Whose kitten is it? Can you have the kitten? Is it stray? And I'm glad you had a good day shopping. But but kitten. <laughs> J Mac is a has a one track mind. I only got to upload my mech pictures to Twitter. Oh, that's cool. I'll go take a look later um, when we get off stream. Grunt Axe of Agility. Very nice. I might actually send that over to my hunter. Oh, wait. It's not mine yet. I got a greed roll hey, for Hey, Tank, it. you want to fucking turn around and do your job? I, I was distracted by the shinies. Ah, ah. Here, I got you, I got you. I was distracted by the shinies, but I'm, I'm paying Fine, attention now. I was now. worried, but you were, you were giving me shit earlier, so now it's it's all downhill from here for you. But you also told me you didn't need me, so... I didn't, I could have handled that, but I had to do talk you, shit. Do you, you by chance, have it. a key for this thing over here? Come come click this thing. No, I don't have a key. Click, click the ball and chain, ball and chain. I don't have a key, fuckhead, I told you that. My bags are open. Okay, okay. Just checking. The last monster train, it was interesting to say the least. Yeah, the last one was the one where we almost won, right? I just didn't have enough time to build up the units. Um, which was unfortunate, but yeah. Not enough you should take the kitten treats. You should take the kitten treats. She's still on the kitten, guys. That is the only thing of any concern to J-Mac now. Because Kat says the kitten might be stray. I'm just saying cat free kitten. I don't know if you can have a kitten where you're living though. I know some places are like no pets. <laughs> I love how I missed that shot and still pulled aggro. Was paying a one energy tax every turn. What was the one energy tax? Was it because I had something that was endless that was one energy? This is a giant apartment building on the edge of Paris. Boom! Come on in here. Come into the whipping room. This is where we whip that ace. BBA love you, but you really can pull more than one thing. Okay, well I'm also reading chat, so I'm not trying to- Let me help you! Oh good. <laughs> God, sometimes, sometimes I look over and I'm like, thank you, bot, for doing an awesome job. Now he's gonna run out here and pull even more. <laughs> did you just fear him out here? You did. You know, you know how your fear works, right? Yes, give me revenge. Oh god, revenge is nice. <laughs> I 
I'm not even gonna read this, guys, and honestly, I'm probably gonna ban the account that did this, but, uh... Somebody just came into the chat. Wanna become famous? Buy followers, primes, and views. That's that what success seems, looks like. That's what, that guy seems really trustworthy. I know, right? And, like, that's how you know you're successful on Twitch, is when you buy your followers and your viewers. You can even pay for them to sub to you so that you can get money from doing Twitch. It's super brilliant, guys. It's the best way. Uh, I wonder on. what the profit is on that. I doubt there's any. Oh, 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 hold on, B, hold on. I gotta do something fun in chat. I gotta make sure that this command is working. Come here, commands, where are you? Oh, it, it totally isn't, but it is now. Are you guys ready for this? Hey, there's more people questing over here. I'm gonna buff them! It's like level 49. This should be fun. Boof. Oh, it's just a hunter. I made a friend! Blackout. Dude, we gotta go in the other house and kill people before he does. He's level 50. He's gonna steal our key! Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> you're, you're so ramped up right now. Don't worry, good. Assumes Kenshiro post. He is already banned. I'm in danger. Oh, I'm in danger. I'm in danger! I'm trying to cover you here. Just please focus the, the mage. Okay, I, I'm doing what I can. I'm really trying to cover you. <laughs> No, you don't. No, you don't. No running away. I can't do that yet. I'm gonna beat him with my staff. <laughs> Why are you not firing the gun? Fire your gun, you stupid orc, please. <laughs> Come here, bitch! There. She went from high energy to Ralph, I'm in danger real quick there. Uh, the guy that draws costs one energy, and because of Endless, he replaced the draw, so every time you played and used him, it was just an energy tax. Oh, that's a good point, Lazy. That's a good point. Did I have... I can't remember. There's Did I have harvest here. triggers, though? Oh, wait, no, this is the front. Like, I thought I had harvest triggers and, and was trying to utilize them for that, but you're right, that is actually a really garbage way to do it. There's better ways to do harvest triggers, that's a good point. Dude, I think that hunter left, he probably was like the asshole fucking undead priest. I like ran up to him, buffed him, like jumped around him, and he jumped around me, and then I ran in here and pulled everything so he couldn't get it. <laughs> well done. <laughs> well done, B. <laughs> Uh, let me go ahead and shield bash this mage. Now she can't cast anything. Whoop her ass. I like how I say whoop her ass and she hits the dude in the room. Instead. My mom texted me that Susanville's on national news. They have a huge fucking fire down there right now, and it's like, it's creeping right on the edge of Susanville. It's kind of scary. And then there's a couple of other fires that started around the area too, and there's one in Reno also. It's uh, definitely wildfire season in California. Yeah, See, that, yeah, that's that a- That poor state is gonna burn. I mean, isn't it always burning though? I know, but I just feel like over the years it's just gotten worse. Yeah, that's generally what happens. Things go through a cycle of decay more than a cycle of rebirth. Um, yeah, that's a good point, Lazy. I do that sometimes, but I don't always remember to do that. So that that's probably something I could be better about. I did that a lot more on the, the run that I made it through on. Uh, I've almost capped out the levels on all my, my factions, too. I, I think the only one I have left to finish off is the Umbra. I like part of this song. Oh, I got that axe I can send to my hunter now. Hello, friend. Let me introduce you to our lord and savior, the staff that breaks your head open. Uh, I'm just free killing dudes out here now. Okay, I will come help with this. Hello, friend. How is it too far away? I'm standing right next to him, game. 
right next to him. The only way I could be closer is, well, we would be in a, in a very interesting position. Um, let me heal us and get some mana real quick. Okay, pulling. <laughs> I, I was just borrowing from your playbook, B. You know you could pull more at than least one. one of us are good at our job, so you don't have to worry then. You're right, one of us is. Keep that up, leader. It's okay, the final reward for the Ember is not the best, mind you. I kind of like it because of how dumb it is. Oh my god, they... <laughs> I got the reform uh, champion from melting. B, do you have a key yet? No. Maybe we need to go to the other side to find the key. I'm pretty sure the keys just drop off these mobs. It's probably just a stupid low drop rate like everything else in Classic. Mayfair falling. I mean, we can try that, though. Let's kill this mage, and if we don't get one, we'll go try the other ones. Um, what job? I am not entirely sure what that is a reference to. I think that was to us doing, doing our jobs or whatever. Uh, the final reward for the Umbra, I read that part. Helps to know it's a six cost unit. What? Uh, okay. No, so I got the, the melting champion that reforms two after the update, and he's just like ridiculous. And his level up reforms two and gives them a, an attack power bonus, it's crazy. Go. go up the tree, go on. So strong. Go on. Okay. You okay over it. there? Are you alright? Do you need assistance? You need an adult. We're dying. I need to get I'm gonna come hit this watchman over here. Whoop! Upside wow. I just like chunked him for There's a quarter of his again. health. That was insane. Just like, yeah, let me let me just take a quarter of your health. No oh, big I deal. I'll probably heal you. I guess. Gosh. Okay, so Overpower and, and Revenge are like something I'm getting used to using more as a, a warrior, and they're both incredible. Like, they're basically just super discounted versions of your other abilities so that you can generate more threat. Uh, haven't played it since Vanilla Beta in 2004. Hey, so you basically played the same thing we're playing. It's got 200 attack, 150 HP, and takes six spots. You can not even summon him on the starting train set. That's Look at her. hilarious. Look this wall. What is this garbage? Oh, she brought a friend. Okay, well, I guess uh, we're still in beta, it looks like, because, yeah, this is, this is interesting. This isn't a bug, though, guys. It's a feature. It's a feature. Hey there. Just go ahead and bleed you for a moment. Thank you for picking off the runner. I appreciate that. Okay, I won't say thank you next time. Apparently I angered her by saying thank you. No, you know what you did, smartass. I I legitimately was saying thank you for picking nope. off the- mm -mm. Oh, Okay, okay, you take it as personally as you want to. I'm gonna. I mean, if anything to me, that that's an indicator of whether or not you know that you should have picked off that runner when I called it. I didn't hear you! I was listening to music. Oh, I'm were you? I'm heal you if you don't check your attitude. Excuse me. Hey, can you, you not hit her? Okay, thanks. Uh, you're not allowed to put the upgrade that makes them take more space. What about less space? Can you put the one that reduces his space? Hey, what's up, Cheeseburger? How you doing today? Um, okay. Seems good. We gotta move up here. I knew that we had to do something else in this area. I wonder if we could have gotten those quests, like, at the same time if we'd done them in a different order, maybe? I'm cold. I gotta go turn my fan off. Dude, I wish I would have gone to the store for creamer. I want more coffee. Okay. He's you dead. You want some of my chai? Nah, that's okay. My dirty chai? My filthy hippie oh, drink? Oh, oh, oh! You pulled this guy, okay. I was like, why did that guy come over here? I was I was not gonna mess with him. 
I messed with him. No idea. I've never had a run where he did not show up on the first draft and never again, but I would guess you can put the size down on him. Oh, you know what? You know what you oh, could probably do? You could probably put the size down on him and then the size up, too. Like, I, I've... I mean, you can do that with Wait. the consume thing. What the fuck? That's not what I meant to do. What are you trying to do? Did you get that scroll of protection? Uh, no. Yes. Oh, did I? Yeah. Okay. That's what that thing was that popped up above your head. I just wanted to make sure that was me and not uh, you doing something. Oh yeah, you put a scroll of protection on me. Thank you. It's been sitting in my bag forever. I had two of them. I kept meaning to use on you in instances, and I'd forget. And I'm tired of them sitting in my bag. Cody, you can put large stone and multi strike on a guy, and then small stone for a third upgrade. Yeah, yeah, I know. That that's my point. Uh, you can probably for that unit that takes up six, you can probably oh, reduce his capacity here. by one with the small stone, and then large stone him too. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa! What the? This guy just spawned on top of me. What in the uh, world is going on? Why can I not? Why can't they? Oh, apparently you can't have my buff and a scroll on you because I can't buff you. I can't control anything here. I don't know what that. What happened? Did I get mind controlled or something? I don't know, but I'm dying. So do your job. I am doing my job. Hey, it's all right. It's okay. How are you pulling aggro? Are you using mind flare? No. I buffed myself up with armor buffs because I was dying. Okay, but you're not using your shadow attack that generates more threat? No, I'm not using the mine thing. Okay, that gave me the key. That gave me the oh, key. Oh, now I can put the buff on you. That's so weird. Yeah, I like the whole game just locked up on me for a second. Uh... Um, do I need my own key? Oh, I got it. Okay. I mean, on the run, I used him to win. I just gave him multi-attack three. <laughs> Honestly, given the stats Lazy describes, why would you even bother with the large stone? I'm going to go jump on that roof. That's a good point. Uh, what roof and why? There's somebody we have to save over here. Oh, I was going to go save the guy over there. There's another jailer in here, and then there's uh, another guy we have to save in here named Togthar. Let me pull this guy. Oh, there's a chest in here, too. Like, one that we can actually open. Hi. You want to maybe come closer to us? Just, just a little bit? Or are you just going to stand there and be He's weird? He's evading. He's stuck. Oh, good. Okay, this, this small section right here is broken. Yeah, we're, we're in a... We're definitively in a bugged section. Oh, that's good. I can't get up there. Uh, okay. I'm gonna And jump you're not down. in my line of sight. I'm trying to get away, but I just got rooted with a net. Here, you guys get stunned. Oh, for the love of... I think... God, fuck. Just run. Just run. Don't heal. Just run, run, run. I'm fearing bitches. That's not a bad idea, actually. That went extremely well, guys. Just want to run on 20 with it. Uh... The unit Lazy described has 200 attack, though. Yeah, multi-attack is, is definitely much better. Uh, one of the tips I did use that was really, really... Are you guys still following us? Well, let's deal with them now. I mean, we could have just let them clear aggro, but okay. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, that was close. Uh, it's not over yet. That priest back there is trying to help us. We should have kept going. The jailer is right there and he's still hitting you. I'm gonna try to taunt him. Okay. Everybody is angry at me. That's a start. See, he's coming to help us. Um, or just watch us get fucked. It's cool. Oh, <laughs> that's funny. Hey. No, he's just gonna watch. It's cool, man. Don't, don't. It's cool. Why can I not use my gun? Am I too close? I must be too close. Minimum range oh, is a invite, thing. invite, please. Hello. This guy wants to hang out with us. 
but he was just gonna let us die. Oh, I just got a burnished yeah, gold key. <laughs> what? He called it assholes. Oh. I think he wanted the jailer. Oh, poor guy. B, why are you yelling? Just let him be. Because he ran away. He also didn't try to help us or anything, so kind of screw him. I know, but he can be his own asshole. We weren't trying to be assholes. No, we were I just didn't trying see him to survive. Talking to us either. I just saw him there sitting there doing nothing. Okay. Did he... What channel did he say something in? Uh, just say. I got another key. I don't see any message from him in say. The white, the white stuff, the white text. Wow. Okay. No, I, I don't have any. Oh wait, yeah I do. <laughs> Your stream sucks. Thanks. I appreciate that. I don't. How does he even know? Like. I told him we were streaming. Did he say that? No. Oh. Yeah. I told him we didn't see it because we were streaming. See, now he's just being a butthole. Okay, well, good for him. <laughs> Why? Why? Are you yelling? B, stop with the yelling. Like, we don't need to make this a region-wide discussion. Oh, F him. One sec. Let me go find out. Could you get zero capacity units out of that if that's split? Uh, we can go free this Thotar guy now. Come on over here, B. Don't worry about that that other priest. I'm not worried about him. Nope, you're staying over here now. Okay, I'm just making- I I'm curious whether he's responded. He hasn't, though. Uh, it won't let you add small, tone, small, uh, small stone to one cap units. Well, yeah, but we're talking about the, the wax guy that breaks up into smaller units. Uh, like, does- if- can you put it on the unit that costs, like, what is it, four or five? I think it's- I mean, it could be three. I can't remember how many it is. Okay, yeah, no. we're gonna free Thotar right now. Or Togthar. I don't have a key for him. Oh, yeah, I do. Did you just get credit for freeing him, though? Yeah. Okay, then it doesn't matter. He just matter. told me that one of the jailers had the key when I tried to do it, but I got credit. That was a nice chest. I have some mana pots if you need them. I don't, obviously. Wham. Okay, so now we just need to go free the other guy that's down on the bottom and we should be set, right? What is this? Oh, I have the burnished gold key, you don't, but if you're getting credit for me freeing them, it won't matter. Alright, dead. Now we go back to that, that one room that we snuck over to using the tree. Okay. Ah, uh, uh, no. I won that run. I had a run where I had a large stone, multi, and small stone on him, and I was able to play to copy him five times. That's nuts. I, like, I have really bad luck with Legion of Wax. Every time I place it, I lose. Like, it's just not been good for me. Isn't he supposed to grant whatever stats he, he gives to everything around him? Let's run around to the roof. Do you hear me? Yeah, 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 I heard you. Okay, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna have to fight one on the way over there, though. Oh, two. Three. Didn't see that guy. <laughs> Thank you for serenading us, B. Uh, no, when you he dies, like each copy singing? of them have the same stats. So they all had large stone, multi strike, small stone. Oh, okay, that's cool. I thought that they they got like, well, yeah, they're supposed to have the same upgrades, right? Come here, you little bitch. 
I mean, you do put Legion uh, of Wax on floors where the winged have harvest. Yeah, yeah, I know. I make stupid mistakes. I'm well aware, Lazy. Thank you for pointing that out, though. Uh, I will endeavor not to make the same mistakes next time. Look how she parries, like, all of my sunders. Come on. Okay, so now she's not parrying sunder, which is nice. Uh, shout while I have the rage. B, hold on. I'm gonna go turn the fan off. I'm cold. Don't die. Okay. Oof. I'm trying to get accustomed to this new chair, and it's starting to not feel too good. Wait. Ooh, ow, 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 ow. Ow. Okay, well. <laughs> Thanks, stream is now aware of that. Oh, there's a guy here. I didn't pull it. it, did I it die? Just... Uh apparently you did, cause let me die. I was adjusting my chair and didn't realize you all that. You see we this? You see that look at this. Look. You see? He just let me fucking die. Worst tank ever. Says the person who didn't jump to the roof first, which we should have done so we wouldn't pull people. Where did these people even come from? I don't know, because I'm dead. Well, if you pulled them, then... I was just standing there! I was also just standing there. Not guarding my body when you AFK, I guard your body. B, I was trying to adjust my chair and read chat. Apologies for actually uh -huh. doing the stream. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. This is why our stream you sucks. See, you see... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm on the roof a waiting for you. More a little bit more. Yeah, exactly, and then you can use that card that lets you use extinguish abilities to cheese it even more and have... I did do that. I did do that. Um... Did I end up dropping him on a floor with the harvest? I, I can't remember that. <laughs> but it's tough too, because I like to use the harvest mechanic a lot too. So I just want revenge. <laughs> do, 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 do. It's true. Do, 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 what kind did you get? I need a new one because the pleather on mine is tearing. Started doing it like a week after I got it. Uh, I got a GT racing one, like you can probably see the head pillow here uh it was only like 170 bucks so my old one was a dx racer one that the stream actually raised money for way back when i was streaming like six days a week i think uh and we used to do really long 24-hour charity streams and it would kill my back so the stream made it a donation goal and we got 400 and we got a dx racer office chair and that's still over like off camera that way um and it was comfortable it's just you know it's i've had it for like five years so it's it's starting to wear out a little bit so i figured i'd try to get a new one this one looked similar enough and it was only 170 so i was like sure i'll try that but now i'm wondering if like it's better or worse because the like this is the first time i've sat in it for an extended amount of time and i don't know it, it seems okay now like i just needed to adjust i think i was slouching too much and it it makes it hurt more to slouch in this one because in the dx racer one i was able to like in this one i can't tilt it and then lock the chair in the dx racer one i made it a bucket seat i can't do that with this one i'm waiting till he doesn't like that chair anymore so i can snag it this one yeah so what you're saying is if i end up liking my old dx racer more i can just give you this one yeah, but my chair's fairly new, too. We have way too many fucking office chairs at our house. Right now, we have... Are you on your way, B, or what are yeah, you... Yeah, sorry, okay. I stopped to text my mom. She was showing me that that um, wall of moms has, like, spread to other areas, and I was asking her if she's seen the dads with, with leaf blowers. For all of you that, like... I mean, I'm sure this is all over the news with, like, the, the federal agents um, being in Portland, and, like, we've had... Uh, protesters that are moms and they form a wall of moms around the protesters to protect them. And then dad started showing up down there as part of the dad pod and they were taking leaf blowers. And so what they do is when the feds throw tear gas at the protesters, the dads with leaf blowers blow the gas back at the feds. 
Anyways, the... I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm sorry. I just... I think no, that's okay. really amazing. I am opening this, which should allow us to free this guy. I don't know if I freed him. Did you get credit for rescuing him? You should have the rescue complete. Let me see. I didn't have a little thing that popped up. Oh, it is complete. Okay. I just missed the thing. Okay. Let's get out of here. Uh, I was looking at the DX gaming chairs on Newegg. Yeah, so the DX racer chairs, the difference that I can see so far, because that was that was the main thing I was doing, was uh, trying to, to kind of gauge the difference. So the the actual base that the wheels go into and that the chair sits on from DX Racer was a lot nicer. Um, and I I honestly think that the uh, the seat is a little bit different too. Hold on, I'm gonna go talk to this hunter. Why? <laughs> he has a name, B. <laughs> um, anyways, so the DX Racer chairs, the, the actual seat of them, it's not just a big, like, foam pad. It's actually, like... I was just trying to help him, because he's been running around like us this whole time, and maybe he doesn't know where to find keys. Mm-hmm. So I was telling him where we found keys. S so, yeah, the seat on the DX Racer, it's less a pad and more like a uh, tension strap, like a couple tension straps that you sit on. Uh, and I think that makes it sort of more durable, and it also is just kind of a little bit better supporting. Like this GT Racing one that I have right now, it, it feels like I'm just kind of sitting on a foam pad, so once the, the support kind of gives in, it gives in. I noticed that too when I sat in it. It's very, very comfy, but the pad seemed like it would wear down. Can you just get a replacement pad, though? Like, just the pad part when it does that? I don't think so, but I mean... I, I don't know. I'm, I'm on the fence so far. Like, I haven't had it long enough to, like, say one way or the other definitively how I feel about it. We probably could have just ran up the tree out of here, now that I think about it. Oh, that's a good point. I mean... Oh, well. We're here now. You remember that thing I showed you, um... About Betsy DeVos's brother? Yeah. Yesterday? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I looked into that, and that... I don't know if that's what we have in Portland, but that's actually true. Wow. That's crazy. Uh, let, that's let cool me... more. Or what? Cheeseburger. Cheeseburger's in chat talking about going he, next Saturday. He's going to be moving to his college dorm. That's cool. What college are you going to? You don't have to answer that. I always ask really personal questions. Wait. Who? Is this the same person that lived in Germany? What? Remember we talked to someone last week that lived in Germany. No, no, no. Cheeseburger oh. is, uh, he's one of the people in GFW that's newer. Oh, okay, okay. I do, okay, I remember that now. We talked about that last week, too. Yeah, he was hanging this out is, last week. This is, this is one of the, yeah, I remember from last week, and I remember there's someone from GFW. Yeah, he's one of the I, young lions. I always feel bad, uh-oh, danger. I always feel bad when you guys are, like, talking in the background, and I'm playing Valorant, and, like, every few seconds, it's just me going, fuck! <laughs> yes, which is why she's just shared that with the entire stream. <laughs> I use some very colorful language when I play PV or first person shooters or any PvP. Colorful is not the term I would use. There are some words I would never use in other situations that I use at home. I'm usually pretty good about not using those when I know people are in the background. What are you whatting about more? Or, uh, cheeseburger guy. <laughs> My bad, man. My bad. What are you wetting about, though? Okay. What are you going to college for? Let me ask you more personal questions. What's your social security number? Uh, the green screen said I can make a, a good recommendation on. Did you seriously just ask for someone's social security <laughs> number? <on the> <laughs> This is why we can't have nice what, things right here, guys. What's your debit card info? Oh, there's, there's someone behind us that got pulled. That might have been my fault. Oh, good. Well, we're probably dead. Ow. Why you put fire on me? Uh-oh. That uh, mage in the background is going to be the death of us if I don't deal with him, so I'm going to lead all these enemies up here and try to stun the group. 
<laughs> Whoa, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Too many questions. I'm sorry. I've had some of my coffee. I'm getting a little hyper. But does that mean you're going to give me all that information? All right. Revenge here. Um... Oh yeah, so the the green screen thing, Sedge. Uh, there is an Elgato one that like God damn it, it rolls down into a little thing. I'll me. send you a link for it later, man. I highly, highly recommend it. I don't know what kind of space you're working oh, now in. Oh, you're gonna run, bitch. But uh, depending on how much room you have in the space you're working in, the Elgato like fold down one is amazing. Like it is life changing compared to other green screens. Uh, I, I used to use, like, a full-size one that I actually had to hang between two stands and, like... That was a headache. Yeah, it was a massive, massive headache that okay, took baby. up a lot of space. Wait a second. Um... Well, I guess my mana's almost full at this point. It don't matter. I don't need to eat. I just typed out. I was trying to grab Muerto's button game, and then I, I typed out, so I failed. <laughs> I just grabs the muerto. That's what my I did. My bony ass. I guess that's true. There's not a whole lot to take hold of, is there? That I know. I know everyone shits on the pandas, and the panda thing was a little silly, but I did appreciate that they were thick. Got got some thick girls. I guess the female orcs are kind of thick too, but it's not the same type of thick. Like the orc Baby. babes are like muscle thick, and the panda babes are like chonky thick. What about the tauren females? Mmm, they're more like buff thick too. What about they the Colteris females? Who? That's the uh, allied race for the Alliance. Uh, I'd have to see them, but uh, yeah, I'd have to. They see got them. the booty. Even... That that's literally even... what they got. the The male Colterans have a gut, and the female Colterans have a booty. I'd have to see them. Uh, also, Cheeseburger answered like all of your questions. Oh, business management is a good degree. Yeah, that's cool. I cool. did a little bit of business management in college, but oh, uh, didn't stick with it. That spell off of you. Okay, I'll come to you if I ever want to start a business. Hey, hey, you. No, no, you don't hit her. You Sometimes hit me. I think about that, like... So, like, the thing with it that... Well, one of many things in healthcare that are, like, really sad is, like, um... Like, hospice care? and care for like elderly and really sick people if like if it's a place that's not really spendy those patients get treated not great sometimes and it's really sad and so sometimes i think like well i'll start my own hospice hey. care that's not stupid expensive but i don't know anything about business it's just sad that insurance and money is a influencer on the quality of care some of those people get that's true, BB. What's up, Crutch? Welcome to the stream, man. Yeah. Let me get real, real sad on y'all for a second. She's like, let me go into into my field and my issues with it real quick, guys. I just want to make y'all depressed. Let y'all know that old people and really sick people get treated poorly sometimes. That's all. Uh, okay, so we've done what we need to do for this. The next quest we have is the Mountain Lion's Blood from Elixir of Pain. Uh, we can actually kind of do that on the way back to town. That's freedom. I know, right? Capitalism is the best, guys. There's nothing wrong with capitalism, and anybody that no. says otherwise is a damn commie. Listen, last week we got into some really deep issues, and this week, Good is like, he's not into it. Like, I tried to talk about the protests and politics, he's like, meh. No, it's not that I'm like, meh, I'm just reading chat, too. Like, it, it's good. fine to talk chat. about deep issues, but... Part of the whole streaming thing is you actually, like, read the chat. This is why I don't stream, you guys. I did it once. Once! I did it once! You want- And when I was done doing it, I was so exhausted. You want a pro tip, B? What? If you stop to take a breath, look at chat. Because you have to breathe eventually. So if you stop to take a breath, look at chat. I did it, I was good about looking at chat, because I knew that was my job, but when I do it with you, it's more- I, I just wait for you to tell me to pay attention. And that's one of the reasons I was so exhausted when I did it, because, like, you gotta pay attention to chat and your game. And just talking in general is exhausting for me. And socializing. Where are you yeah, going? Yeah, I mean, that's that's the game. It's presentational. Are we going hey, back to- Hey, what's up, Pound Sign? No, we're going to kill some mountain lions, B. Oh. 
How you doing today, Mr. Pound Sign? I still have a key. Yeah, probably. Um, you can discard it because we completed that. Hello, mountain lions. Oh, I can't charge it because I was too close because I'm bad at this. Uh, we are doing good. Other than blaming each other for a couple wipes so far, dying in stupid ways. I'm listening to that that Black Hole Sun song dubstep song you say is blasphemous. It is blasphemy. I like it. Y'all, I like the wub wub because I'm trash. Her words, not mine. I've gotten a lot more pickier about the wub wub. Sometimes when I listen to it, I'm like, dubstep used to be good, and then I'm like, wait. It either was never good and my tastes have changed, or yeah, it's just gotten shittier over time. That's just you getting old, B. I like me some bass, though. Whatever it is, I love me some bass. I don't even think you like dubstep that much. You just like things that will shake the entire house if you turn them up. I do like, and I'm very picky about my bass. I don't like the dubstep that has the high-pitched screechy noises in it. That stuff irritates me. Or if it's overly repetitive. I do like bass, though. I do like the house to shake. It isn't all dubstep overly repetitive? <laughs> no. Not all of it. That's what I'm saying. It's like I'm really picky about it. It's hard to find something that I enjoy. Well, maybe my tolerance for I like any music that sounds like less. dental surgery. Have you heard of that? Um, there's like this, I think it's a new genre called like hyper pop. And there's this band that I've seen coming up called like a hundred... And then it's G-E-C-S or something. I don't know if there's a way to pronounce that or if it's an abbreviation. And, like, I went and tried to listen to them for, like, two seconds, and I was like, I don't think this is for me. But it, I think it's screechy dental surgery music, like you're saying. A hundred gex? Is that what it is? That's what it sounds like. I don't know what a gek is. Like, I don't know if that's a word or anything, so I just, I didn't know. It could be a mockery of the word geek. I don't know. It's in some genre called hyper pop, though. And I turned it on, and like after a few seconds, I'm like, there's not enough bass, I don't want to listen to it. You're all about that bass? I'm all about that bass, no trouble. Oh god, overpower hits like a truck. It's funny, because like, I feel like my warrior hits really, really hard, but I kill everything slower than my hunter or my mage would. Maybe what what UI mod is this? Again, someone's asking. Uh, it's Tuck UI. Although, honestly, if I was going to recommend one, I would recommend Elv UI. Uh, Elv UI is basically Tuck UI with more features. Tuck UI <gasps> is more lightweight and meant to be, like, less screen real estate. But this version of Tuck UI that I'm using right here, the version 18, is actually, I feel like, more real estate taking up than uh, 17. Listen, we were talking about bass, and now I gotta go put some Party Rock Anthem on. Oh god. Oh, you're just gonna- okay. Well, if you get killed, it's your fault, because you're standing in the middle I'm of a field where way. enemies god. fall. Par will you chill out in Party Rock? Anytime we go on long road trips, this song gets played for a good amount of it, and I dance for good to help keep him company since he's the one that drives. I don't think I've seen Vui yet. Uh, is that- is that even compatible with Classic? My go-to for my base fix is Porta's head. Oh! Grant, are you still here? I'll have to check that out. Uh, I might actually try the... the switch to 17, because I actually like 17 better. Let's see. Let's see how badly this breaks everything. Oh, that's not too bad. Yeah, I like that better. That's a lot more lightweight, I think. Um, the chat is better hidden. Aphex Twin for the ultimate base fix. You hear that, B? What? Aphex Twin. 62% on my oh, armor. Portis head? Okay, I'm gonna look that up after my uh, party rock is over. Oh, there's no more lions this way, but I mean, we didn't get any mountain lion blood anyway, so we can just oh, go I turn this one. in. Did you? Okay. Yeah. I got none. No drops How many whatsoever. are we supposed to have? I'm not paying attention. I'm just following you and pew pewing. We're supposed to get 10. Oh. I, I am well aware that you're not paying attention. Devilish. Doesn't pay attention, blames me when she dies. You were supposed to be watching my body. Look at all these people here I can buff! 
Oh boy. Buff! There is a lot of people here. Buff. Buff! I noticed they're here like in the middle of the day. There's that hunter again. Buff! Buff! Buff. It's weird because the 23 makes sense. He's leveling here. I get. I wonder if the 34 just didn't do the quest here and is coming back through for a particular item. Hunter's like level 50. He was 49 when I um. Oh hell saw yeah! Earlier. Look at that, y'all. Now that is. A, I can't even see what it looks like. Sad times. Uh, but that's a nice chest armor. I'm gonna go ahead and take that. Uh, I will be very happy with uh, that. The one for me is not really that much of a improvement. Um. They can't all be winners, B. They can't all be winners. I know. I'm just going to see which one costs more to either sell or I'll just disenchant it. Uh, that's fine. I can... Now stop. Hating is bad. Huh. Oh, get up. Get down. Okay, I'm going to go look up that... That music suggestion. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. There we go. That's better. <laughs> I've got like a setup now, guys, where like Restream actually sits in the OBS window while I'm streaming so I can monitor the stream and I can oh, monitor... Oh, someone else said Apex. Oh. That sounds okay. familiar. That one does. I see the Apex in Restream now. Oh. Look at all these music suggestions. Like, I appreciate that. I've been needing new music. Um... Yeah, so anyway, the, the Restream setup, like... It's cool, it's nice, it lets you keep an eye on Restream while you're also keeping an eye on the stream. But it has a viewer count on it, and I hate that, because, like, I don't care how many people are in the stream, like, at any given time. Like, I appreciate you all being here, but, like, I don't stream uh, any differently if there's nobody than if there's somebody. Dude. But, like, it's really, really throwing when you look over and you see the numbers, like, shift dramatically. Because then you're like, oh, what did I just do? And it like, it's just not conducive of having a good time. So are I found you, a way to turn that off. Are you able to kill this frog a second time? I don't know. Because I just killed it, and I know I did it last time we did this quest. You even asked me to make sure I did it. Baby, I'm telling I, you, this game I doesn't think, save my shit sometimes. No, B, I think I killed it, and you saw the animation because we were both there at the same exact time, and it just lets you do it on your own, too. What is that sword? That looks dope. Zin Roke, Destroyer of Worlds. Wow, that's actually really, really good. The the Portis head music is I'm listening to it now. This is good study music for when I study. I like music like this when I'm doing schoolwork. Just because you saw the frog croak doesn't mean you killed it. Yeah, that's a good point. I know, I thought it was me. Okay, so we've got farmers and well, yeah, just farmers. We we need to go murder some farmers who are doing nothing but trying to be farmers. Hey, come back here. Let me follow you. I have to go ex explore all this new music. Okay. Thank you. You unfollow? Yeah, I'm unfollow. I'm not responsible if you get killed. This whole area is populated with okay, mobs. Okay, 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 okay. I'll pay attention. Sure you will. I'm trying to, like, position my feet in a way that's more comfy, and, like, I can't because our fat cat is under my desk sleeping on my footrest. Or my foot pad. Uh, the one thing that is nice about this chair, though, is it actually... <gasps> it has a footrest built into it, but it's a pain to pull it out. Like, I'm trying to do it right now, and it's actually not working. Oh, let me try this. <laughs> I think a fixed one is going to go in the study music category, too. Haha. -ha. This doesn't look awkward at all. Success. Now I have a footrest that I can put my legs on. New music is worth the price of death. Okay, let's see how that works. It's really weird because it's got like a, a leg rest, but when I sit in it with the leg rest, it feels very I much... I saw the window liquor song. I'm like I'm falling it. forward almost, so... We'll see how that goes. I could probably counter it by, like, letting this back a little bit. Yeah. We have a cat that licks windows. There we go. That's nice. That's actually pretty nice right there. I like this. Okay. This is a, a new thing. We'll try this out and see how it goes. Hello, mountain lion. And an overpower. 
Oh my gosh, B, I... <laughs> so... What? No, I didn't tell you about this, but I was going to now. Um, this morning, guys, I was... I was messing around on my hunter and, like, making good progress, and I remembered I had to go record something for YouTube. So I, like, laid out a timeline, and I was like, okay, at this time I gotta stop playing my hunter so that I can go do this thing for YouTube, and that's fine. Uh, so I started trying to put together a group for Ragefire Chasm on my hunter, because I hadn't done it yet, and I just wanted to knock out the quests. So I'm, like, looking for group, looking for group. And I get this guy named Donald with two Ds. I'm like, all right, uh, that, that's fine, whatever. And he's another DPS. So we get two DPS, basically. And we're just asking and asking and asking, and we're not getting anybody. What is... is that a... Okay, that's a shaman. I was gonna say, is that like a rare mob? We can go kill that. Um, so I'm asking around, asking around, asking around. We can't find anybody else. Uh, and then Donald whispers me, but I don't see it. So he actually, like, sends me the name of a healer, which we get. And then he leaves the group so that he can go jump into a battleground because he's tired of waiting for the group. Uh, mind you, he had gone to Undercity to grab one of the Rage Fire quests, and I had gone to Thunder Bluff to get the other, so that we could all share them and get them, right? So I'm like watching the clock, I'm watching the clock, it's creeping up on time, and I'm like, okay man, I've got like an hour and a half, and we haven't been able to put the group together in half an hour. Like, I, I don't know if we're gonna make it. Because uh, I don't know if you guys were here for, what was it, the first or second stream we did, be where we tried to put together- And we couldn't get it? Yeah. yeah. We just basically sat here for like an hour trying to put together a Wailing Caverns group. Um, so anyways, I was like, oh, I don't know if I'm going to make it. I don't know if I'm going to make it. So, you know, another 15 minutes passes. We fill the party all except for one person. And we get one person that's like, you know, I could put a shield on and tank. It is the first instance. It'll probably be fine. Uh, and I think they were a shaman. And I was like, okay, sure, whatever. I'll, I'll look for anyone to fill this last slot then. <laughs> And a mage named Donald Trump messages me and goes, I'll come send an invite. Was it the first Donald? No, no, no. It was a different Donald. Okay, okay. But it was, his name was Donald Trump, right? So I was like, okay. I, I, I don't know if this no. is... I would have been like, there's a wall here. I'm sorry. So, <laughs> so at first I was like, I really hope this isn't like somebody who's actually like a big Trump supporter or something. And like, you know, because you don't... I don't know about you guys, but that's not who I want to spend my hangout time with. Um, so I invite him, and then I find out he's like a level 60 mage. And like, he basically just ran us all the way through the instance, and in one fell swoop, pulled the entire instance. We all got our quest completions. I got more blood. Oh, that's good. Um... And it, it was super, super nice, super smooth. We got everything in one go. Uh, and then we got out of there and he was like, you guys want to go again? I guess he was killing time between battlegrounds and was just like, yeah, I'll take you guys again. So he ran us through it again. We managed to complete all the quests. I even got some nice loot for my hunter because I didn't have any like items with actual stats on it before that. Uh-oh. What? Oh. This bear found me. Uh, and then what ended up happening was <laughs> one of our team members... After this guy runs us through twice, one of our team members is like, Hey, can I get a port to Thunder Bluff too? And I'm like, dude, just be thankful for the runs so that you could finish this and move on. Because we don't know how long it would have taken to find that group otherwise. Um, so we get through. He actually did give us all a port to Thunder Bluff. And then like right after the port, I had to Hearthstone back to Orgrimmar because I had another quest to turn in there too. But it was, it was just nice to have, like, a level 60 be like, yeah, sure, I'll take you guys through. It's no big deal. That's what I told you I would do when people would ask for a Rage Fire Chasm on my higher one. Yeah, I know. And then you and I saw that, like, nearly everybody was, like, selling runs, selling runs, selling runs. I know. I just do them for free to be nice. Dude, it was so cool. I've never... Okay, so I've never seen anything quite like this, though. Like, and, and it's weird, because I remember doing, like, SM in one pull on my, my Paladin back in the day. Um... But it was weird to see it in Rage Fire. Like, he pulled the entire second half of the instance at once and then ran up to the, the very, very end, pulled that guy, and then ran back down to, like, the entrance to the walkway up there and just stood there. And it was like a conga line of enemies just running into death. And they were in, like, an actual line, which is what made it funny. Like, they didn't spread out or anything. They just made a straight line to him. And it was like the conga line to death. 
Got a break in the storm, so I'm heading back to work. Have a great time, guys. Right on. Later on, Crutch. Have a good day at work, man. Bye. Oh, oh, oh. We don't want to do that. I, I was almost going at this like a mage pole. Uh, we want to go around like this and try to get the dude in the house. Cow. Oh, yeah? Cow. Cow? Do not kill the cow. I wasn't going to kill the cow. Do not. There is a farmer in here. <laughs> His name's Stanley! Are you okay? Let me pet Stanley. I like how, like, they just shrunk the oh, wolf. Oh, I know. Look, I gently pat him. Yum. We have the old doghouse. Oh, Dara Farmer. I appreciate that they don't let you kill Stanley. Dude, he's on top of his doghouse. He's like Snoopy. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not paying attention. I should give you some meal. <laughs> no, it's all good. I'm I'm totally fine right now. I'm actually in defensive stance and I don't need to be. Uh oh, we do actually need to kill the farmers here too, so I guess yeah, we just murder the farmers. Oh. Baby, come milk this cow. I don't think that's actually a thing. But I am gonna pull some farmers, so I hope you're ready to heal since you say yes, we can yes, 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 pull yes, multiples. Yes, yes. I got you. Do your thing. No, don't touch me. Oh, so rude. I'm trying to pull him off you. It's all right. I got. I have uh, protection buffs that do stuff like if I get hit with a melee attack, it it does damage to them and. I have like an armor. Thing. How do you constantly pull aggro? I don't know. Do you dot both of them? Yeah. I throw a dot on them and then let you get to work. I'm helping. I'm not just here for heals, baby, okay? I know I'm you're here not to, just here, here for, for heals, pew, but pew. could you not dot? Like, if we both kill the same target, they won't even come after you. You guys, he's always complaining. Yes. He has his own pocket warlock, and he still complain. Oh shit! This guy's gonna pull crap if he keeps running like a little bitch, You're though. You're not a warlock, B. God damn it! I'm sorry. I only know how to warlock. I would have loved to have played a holy paladin if that had been a thing in classic. Need more rage. Uh oh. Oh, he brought his friends to whoop our ass! We're just basically chain pulling this entire group at this point. I got track IR for flight sims because I love Isle Sturmikov and man, is it awesome. What is track IR? Is it like a, an eye tracking thing? I think it works with MechWarrior too, but I haven't tried it, at least MechWarrior Online. Yeah, what, what exactly is that? I, I've never heard of that. Uh, but I, I am intrigued by the fact that it works with Mech Warrior because I'm not a flight sim guy, but uh, I could definitely do something with Mech Warrior. Son of a! Watch out, we got two coming. I was gonna. I think there might be something back here for me to loot. So when we get a chance. Yeah, they're just chain pulling. Because I can't. When they start running off, I can't shoot them until they're far enough at range that they can pull something else. I know, I was shooting him with my wand, but then he got out of my reach and you're closer, so I thought you'd be okay. Stop yelling at me! I wasn't. <laughs> oh my god, would you stop? You move your head and you can look around? Oh dude, that would be so cool in Mech Warrior. How much was it? That it oh my gosh, that would be incredible. Need more rage. Oh, I'm I'm like might, super hyped about that now. I might have stuff back here to loot, I do. Okay, there's farmer Ray's farmer. back here too, and we need to kill him, so I'm gonna there's shoot him. There's one more dude over here. There's two more. Yeah, I know, this is the one we need to kill, but I guess he's bringing friends, so. Where is six at? It's right there. Okay, cool. Trying to get my uh, proper okay, rage okay. built here. Or stacks of sunder built, rather. 
Okay, Sunders are up. Revenge is going out. Uh, we can bleed him, or he can dodge the bleeding. Excuse me, sir. It's too far away. Uh oh. I got him. Oh, you got him. He has some watermelon. Yeah, it doesn't even matter what he has as loot, as long as we get the kill on him. Uh-oh. Do we need footmen? We don't even... <coughs> we don't even need to kill this guy, but that's okay. Uh, I can send you a link in Discord. It's 150 with the headset clip, which you want. Interesting. Okay, time for me to go. I got him. Alright. Ah, dude, I'm always like, I gotta start. Damn it. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Run, 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 run. Just run. Just run. Just run. Don't touch me! Just run. I will taunt people. Don't heal. Just run. I not. I run in. Keep running, keep running, keep running. You healed me. <laughs> okay, he left, he left. Oh, you feared him. I thought I was far enough away, I didn't want you to die. But if you heal me, you'll pull thread know, and they'll keep chasing. I know, but then you die, God damn it! Just don't interact with them at all and run. I am running, I don't want the spooter to get me. Cool, I'll check the link out in Discord later. Can you stop hitting me now? We we haven't been in combat with you for a while. God damn it. Oh my god, they refuse to give oh now there's a bear. Fuck, ah, I'm dead. I'm out of range. It's too far away. Oh I tried to taunt him. It's fine. That wasn't my fault either though. I ran away like you told me, I only healed you once. I always get blamed. I'm running the wrong way. I'm gonna get blamed, you guys. I'm waiting for it. Fuck this shit. I hate this place. Oh! If how'd you heal? Shoot! It doesn't matter now. Uh, I used a potion. Yeah, I should have used a potion, pot. but I'm stupid. Uh, I can res you when I get there, though. Oh. oh my god, what? Can you fucking bears just fuck off? Please. Why do you even exist? Oh my gosh, okay, I actually got free and clear, I think. I on my way! I survived. With my my slow little dead legs. I don't even know how, but I survived. I have done it. Success. Oh, this is comfy. I like this, this is comfy. Are you using your leg rest? Yeah. It does keep your feet pretty elevated. It's actually kind of nice. <clears throat> I want to get one of those things um, that you put under your desk that's like a wedge that you put your feet on and it's supposed to help with circulation. Well, supposedly it helps. I should probably look into it. Because I think if I tried to use an ottoman, oh, my legs would just fall asleep. Welcome welcome to the nap stream, guys. I'm not gonna take <laughs> No, I'm not going to nap. Um... You are still respawning, so I'm waiting on you for that. Yeah, I'm just gonna hang out here for a minute and try not to get killed. Maybe pull a loose farmer here and there if I can. There should be one farmer that pats around this house that I can pull off on his own. I don't see him This though. is the second time I've been ganged up on by farmers. Really? 
Yeah. You want to share the first with Chad? <laughs> you were there. You watched. <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't, I don't roll like that. <laughs> he was there, y'all. He watched it happen. <laughs> I do not roll like that. <clears throat> <clears throat> All right, let me get my shit together real quick. God, I don't know what's up with my throat. It's all messed up today. Do you still have water? Yeah, I just took a drink. You want cough drop? I have cough drop. No, nah, it's okay. It's fine They're now. They're honey. They're not gross. It's fine now. Okay. I'm okay. Thank you, though. Ooh, tea! Dude, I'm so hungry. Like... You're all hungry? Did you get a pastry this morning? Yeah, well, I didn't get a pastry even. I got like a sausage and egg sandwich, and I'm still just super hungry. Oh my god. I'm kind of hungry too, even though I had a pastry. Oh, this is the best chair ever. This is the best chair ever, B. Okay. With that footrest, you can sit cross legged. That's cool. It's like supporting my feet while I sit cross legged. This is incredible. And there's way less pressure on my back now. I mean, honestly, part of the reason why my tailbone hurts and stuff when I sit for too long is just because I I could definitely do with losing some weight. This is true. We both could. Hello Dude, I was there. telling you when I lost weight, like this was probably like five or six years ago, y'all. But like, I lost weight, and when I lost weight, my tailbone hurt all the time when I was sitting because I lost all my butt padding. There's a bear. God, why? Not enough. We gotta move in closer. We can't even fight this guy. Don't fight him. Just, just follow me. Don't attack. Don't heal. Just follow me. Okay, he's just gonna follow us though, and then we're gonna pull the farmer. Can you just deal with him? No, follow me. Okay. <laughs> You're right. not listening. He's right. level 26. Even if we try, we'll both die. I'm trying Maybe to tell you that. Maybe we've killed a level 26 bear before together. It just took a while. I'm just saying, they always follow us for two days. They follow us for two days because you heal. No, because they just follow us for two days. Look, he's still here. I'm just saying, we could kill him. We've done it before. Now he's just whooping my ass. Okay, he's gone. See? You see. We could have taken him. Why you always got to run? This time you didn't die. Why you always got to run? Because running is better than running back from the corpse place. Two types of people. The person that runs from danger and the person that deals with it. I'm just saying. <coughs> Two types of people, the person that runs from the mob and the person that runs from the graveyard. It was one bear, that wasn't a mob. One did bear. You just, did you seriously just say that? That was one bear. Baby, mob is, is a term for NPCs in MMOs. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No. A mob is more than one. No. Yes. Are you going to pull these guys? I'm figuring out which ones we want to pull first, which is these two. Try to not go back too far. You'll pull one of the bears. The reason the bears are pulling from such a far range is their level. <laughs> Sedge, Sedge, am I wrong? Are they not called mobs? Mobs and pats. Those are the two names that get used commonly for NPCs. They are. See? See, I'm telling you. A mob is one. Or not one. It's more than one. No, BB. It doesn't stand for what you think it stands for. I could look it up, but it's... I'm gonna do it right now. It's like movable something or other. Okay, I'm gonna hit this guy and I'm gonna look it up and we're both gonna die. Where? Oh, no. I'm gonna kill this guy first because I don't want to die looking up where mob comes from. Where does the term mob in Shut up, you're right. What does it mean? I forget what it comes from though. Um, mobile object, mobile object, that's what it is. I knew it was mobile something. It, the thing I got said it's just short for mobile, a mobile NPC. Well, yeah, that's because the original like MMOs were just text-based MUDs multi-user dungeons. 
Here's the joke. What do you do when you get a couple arguing? Family feud. <laughs> I wonder, dude, if they had like a, an actual like decent family feud game, we should play that, B. Wait, hold on. I'm texting my mom. I didn't hear you. Uh, okay, so that's a farmhand. We do need one more farmhand. I'm gonna pull this guy and kill him. She was telling me my da my dad's mad at her because she supports the wall of moms, and I was like, well, he can be on the wrong side of history or the right side of history. What? Okay, if he doesn't support that, what? What? I don't, like... I don't think my parents fully understand everything that's going on. I think well, they that, get that some is... skewed information because when I was growing up as a kid, my parents were not like this. And as they've gotten older, they seem a lot more conservative. And it's like, I don't know. She's like, you didn't raise me that way. And I don't see how you could agree with these things other than maybe you're just getting really skewed information and don't understand. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Your dad doesn't strike me as the type that would... Oh, sorry. I was trying to help this guy, and I pulled something. Why can't I shoot him? Oh, because I'm not targeting him. There. Okay, I'm sorry. I was just trying to give him a buff and some heals, and I pulled a thing. I'm going to leave him alone now. Yes, you, you really need to take a moment to understand how threat works in Classic. Cause it's a bitch. Threat is legitimately the most annoying thing in classic, but it's also like kind of cool that it has that well, that I'm kind sure of value. Well, I'm sure he had to kill that guy anyway, so he got a buff and some heals. I'm sure he's happy. Yeah, we're looking for specific targets to kill here. We need to kill Citizen Wilkes, who walks this road, and Farmer Getz, who's up on the top part of this farm. So I guess we'll go after Getz because I don't see Wilkes. If Wilkes was here, we'd see him. He's a huge pain in the ass. He roams this part, and he's actually like higher level than the other mobs are. I get him all the time when I'm trying to do my AoE pulls on my mage. So Get should be right over here. I think he's in this little hut over here. He is. I can see him. We're going to have to kill this guy to get to him, though. Uh, also, I'm going to start hamstringing these mobs so that when they run away, they can't get far. I literally did nothing. I did nothing. I didn't heal. I didn't do a buff. I just shot him with my wand. Huh. I put a dot on him, but he had it on long before he came after me. I'm always in trouble. Fuck this shit. I didn't blame you for that one. I'm not sure why he came after you there. I know, but I always get blamed, so I gotta I have to have my defense ready. There's one behind you. Oh, I was going to hamstring him super fast because I was like, no, you do not get to run away. Yeah, I can't even... Hold on a second before you pull. I wish the log showed more than just my own actions. That'd be nice. I think I can set it to you. I just haven't done that. Asunder, whiff asunder. God, it hurts to whiff asunder. Why do I not have my weapon? That was weird. Asunder again. Lead him. No running. Asunder again. Asunder again. Shout, and he's dead. That was nice. Nice and clean. Got a farmer gets over here. Nice, I body pulled him. Oh, I got a friend though. Oh, let me take care of you. Shit. Sorry, I was texting my mom. It's okay, just make sure you target farmer gets. Let me 
keep you alive. She told me last night she wanted to talk to me today and I told her I was streaming with you, so I think she's like waiting to call, but now she's just texting me instead. <laughs> <laughs> If that guy pulls Don't someone, run. we're in trouble. Damn it, I tried. He ran around a tree and I couldn't get him. And Morto, will you please put a buff on yourself? Jesus Christ. Blood Thank rage. you, jeez. Bad priest. This guy's level 26, so it's more of a tough fight. He dodges more, evades more, I can hardly get rage against him. Come on, come on, come on. Just a little more rage. And he's running. Okay. So for the sake of argument, on the next multi pull, only dot the one I'm hitting. Just just try it one time. Okay. I don't know what I did that time, but okay. So basically what happened there, and I'm not picking on you, I'm just explaining, okay? Mm-hmm. Since they were both dotted, while we beat on Farmer Gets, the other guy got to low enough health that he started running, even though Farmer Gets was still there and the dot was about to drive him into low enough health to start running, in which case they go two different directions and we're screwed either way. Whereas if we have one of them that's getting to low health at once, I can hamstring him and we can pick him off. That's all. Is that fair? Yes. Okay. See, I'm not picking on you. I'm just trying to explain how threat and all that stuff works because it's much different in classic than it is in retail. Like, threat is ridiculously easy in retail. What's really weird, too, is, like, I started at the end of TBC in the beginning of Wrath of the Lich King, and even in Wrath of the Lich King, threat was way easier. Is there easier. someone in here we had to get, or the house? Uh, in the house, and we already got him. We pulled him out. Okay. So, we have Citizen Wilkes left, which we might find on the road here on our way to the next one, and then Farmer Kalaba. Uh, Kalaba, we may get extras on when we try to I'm gonna go, go buff him. this tour and don't yell at me. Where's the torn? Okay. As long as you don't pull something while you buff the torn, I don't care. There's Wilkes. I'm putting a skull over him. That is our primary target right there. He's a level 25, which means if we pull one of these level 26 guards with him, they're going to wreck us. So we need to be careful about how we do it. Uh, let's move this way. What level is this shaman? 24. So if we can drag the mob by the shaman and get the shaman involved, that'll help. This is the shaman I was buffing earlier. Oh wait, no, I think that guy over there that I was buffing earlier. I don't know. There's a lot of people over here. Yeah, this is a pretty popular questing area for the level range we're in. Do you think? Thank you, because I buff and heal him. Oh, it's my temple priest motherfucker song! I don't know why I just buffed that guy again. He already had a buff on him. Our dude's uh, away from people. Yeah, I know. I'm coming to get him too. Let me get a charge on him before you pull him. Thank you. I'm gonna stand over here away from that ship behind us. That's a good 
idea. Watch the farmers behind you. And I'm like, hell yeah! Right here, buddy. Right here. Put the damage on me. Okay. Uh, what do we even have left here? We're like kicking ass. I had such a hard time getting through this. Oh, this druid is dead. Don't help him. Don't help him or we're dead too. Fuck. Okay. Fuck. Sorry. I just tried to help. I just want to help everybody. Okay, as long as you don't heal and you just run, we'll survive. Shit. Oh, they're in a way. Yeah, as long as you don't do anything to generate more threat and we keep running, they'll give up. Can I res people that aren't in my party? Yes, I think. I don't know see. why you wouldn't be able to. Let's go see if I can res that cow. I'm like, no, no. And I'm like, I love that you try to be helpful, but you help us to our graves. No, I can't even target him because he released his body. Oh, well, that's on him. <laughs> Uh, so the last guy is actually in that building. There's no way for us to get in there without being higher level. Like I've tried, it just doesn't work. Um, well, we can go. We can go get Farmer Kalaba. Like all these missions are super high level compared to our level right now. We're three levels under uh, Elixir of Pain. So honestly, we can just go mob grind. Let's go kill mountain lions for blood. Okay. Like the mountain lions will probably be on level or a few levels higher than us. So if we just keep killing them, we should ding pretty soon. I'm at like 90% of the way to my next level. Do I have talent points? I don't. Okay. No talent points. But I did just get my first rank of deep wounds, which is nice. Another rank of deep wounds will definitely help with our damage output. And also, even though you're playing a priest, you are specking into shadows, so you'll have damage too. Yeah, even these mountain lions are like three levels ahead of us. So if we can kill them efficiently, then I need to get I mean, we might actually make faster progress going back to the sepulcher at this point. I thought we were on, on par for the, the area. Like, it seems really, really weird that we're not. Okay. Oh, Mayor. I remember. Alliance. It. Way too high level alliance. <laughs> Dude, I can't believe you. I can't believe I got that kill on that mage when we opened the stream. That was that was actually kind of fun, like finding somebody that's actually in a reasonable level range to fight. Do we need these yetis? Oh no, they're really high. Yeah, right. they will eat us alive. Don't don't even go near them. I might come back and try to farm those yetis on my mage though when I get higher level, because that should give me a good amount of uh, XP by pulling a bunch of them. There's Are a we lion. doing mountain lion? Okay. Hello, mountain lion. Uh-oh, uh-oh, bear, 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 run. Just... You run. I just hamstring the bear so he can't really chase you. Keep going the direction you were going. I hamstring that bear. He can't chase you either. I thought I'd turn around and get the mountain lion once I got far enough away, but... Better to survive. Yeah. Fuck off, bear! Alright, he fucked off. Yeah, they have a huge... <coughs> excuse me. They have a huge aggro range on us because we're so much lower level than them. No, god damn it! Bear, fuck off! Okay, there's a mountain lion that's in a safe place. I'm out of range. I need to get closer. Hello, Mr. Mountain Lion. Get overpowered. Wow, overpower is actually really, really good when you're under level because you miss more when you're under level. You also get evaded more, and that allows you to trigger overpowers, which can't be evaded or 
or you can't miss them either. So that's nice. Even though the loot on that wasn't great. Huh. So like the entire right side of this zone is lower level than the left side and we're high enough level to deal with the right side but not the left side. Oh, we do have one to complete though if, if we want to go turn it in. There's a level 24 quest we finished. Okay. My data text windows are all messed up for Tuck UI. I'll have to fix those later. No! There's a bear chasing him. He's probably- Get him, undead guard! guard. Annihilate. Annihilate! Get him! Whoop his ass! Fuck him up! What's up? You see that? I brought my mom. Fuck you, bear. <laughs> Hello, money. Um, this guy has an enchant for minor agility to boots. BB, do you have that one yet? Can you check? I can't do anything with him. I just tried to click on him and maybe because you're talking to him? No, it's the little gobby oh, guy. Oh, I tried. To, I didn't even see him. <laughs> um, I don't think. Hold on. I don't think I have that. But I'd like it because I'm pretty sure people have asked me for it before. Oh no, they've asked me for speed, but I'll still get that. Okay. Um, I'll let you grab it then. And you you sent me that red bag one. Yeah. I I usually pick up whatever I can from him that I think I can sell in the market, because a lot of the stuff he has will sell in the auction house pretty good. Uh, which is why I snagged his recipe for goblin jumper cables, because that actually sells okay. Speaking of There's sells okay, I've got something I in my mail. Turn in. Hey, you got buffed. I got buffed yes. too. Very nice. I gave him my wow, buff. Wow, Mark of the Wild is a very strong buff. What is it? And 17 silver, kill 15 Hillsbred peasants and report back. back. Where are the peasants at? Did you take this guy's other quest? There's someone right here that has another quest too. Oh, what so is there. It? Uh, 30 human skulls. Who's running over here that needs a buff? Come here. No, no why'd you- Oh, stupid mage blinked away from me. No buff for you then. Okay, so... Hillsbred peasants are in the same area. That's still like a level 25 quest type thing. Oh! What? You know the eight noodles right by our house? Yes. I saw on Instagram that they have free delivery yesterday and today. Okay. Just, I know you don't like them that much, but free delivery. Yeah, I was gonna say I'd be more excited if the food was more exciting. I really like that ramen bowl they have. <laughs> uh, we're probably better off just farming enemies over here. Like, if we can group pull these and kill them. That... Do we need the bears? No, but at this point, we need the XP. Think I don't think they're- oh, okay. I was gonna say, there's not a lot of mountain lions over here. Last time we found a mountain lion over here, tried to whoop our ass. Yeah, well, the mountain lions we can find are all higher level than us, so... I'm just trying to AoE these guys down somewhat. The only AoE that I have is Thunder Stomp, which isn't very good, but it's something. Probably, honestly, more efficient to just bleed them out. That was fast, though. You see how much faster that was? Mm-hmm. Oh, I pulled that bear because I thought that's what you were going to pull. I'm sorry. That's okay. I was pulling the bear. I'm pulling both of these guys. All right. You're good. I don't know why I keep using Thunder Stomp. I oh, want it to dinged. be a better AoE than it is. So did I. Oops. No, I said you dinged. I didn't. I got a little tiny bits to go. Oh, I got okay. a bear bladder. Gross. Reduce the... Uh, uh, I don't think that's worth it. Yeah. Reduce the rage by one for Thunderclap. Wow. So my... Thunderclap, you see? 
Are you gonna thunderclap those cheeks? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. That's about as good as it is. Oh, boy! You got a battery! <sighs> Come here, Grey Bear. Let me just Oy. wreck you up real quick. Oy. Oh, I wonder if I got new... How far are you from a level B? Um, I don't know. Not very much. It's hard for me to give a measurement now with this UI because it doesn't have little bars that I can... I guess if it was a bar, I'd say I have a bar, maybe 75% of a bar left. If you mouse over it, it should give you a percentage. Oh, um... It says I'm at 93. Oh, you'll level soon then. Yeah. So let's try to get you to that next level and then we can head back to under city so I guess and that's pick up only new skills. 10 percent not 75 <laughs> but i was also trying to compare them to the bar it's okay b i know that math is hard for you math is hard for me man i thought you were gonna like at least resist that but you just took it i don't, I don't deny that one I don't, I won't even, I'm terrible at math, but I know how to do math for medications and dosing, and I make sure I am I continue to practice and be good at that math and any other math that exists in the world, I don't need to deal with it, it would probably just confuse me even more. As long as I can do the math that prevents me from killing people, that's all I need to know. You've been thunderclapped, ACDC alternate version. Yeah, I don't know man, like... Hunters are vastly devoid, or not hunters, but warriors are vastly devoid of an AoE that they sorely, sorely need early on. I guess Cleave- You want to kill turtles, even though we don't- oh, those are level 30, maybe not. Yeah, we're not killing those. Those will kill us. Yeah, I'm gonna get this scooter. Um, it just- yeah, I guess they get Cleave or whatever, and that's supposed to help a little bit. But I don't think they get their first true AoE until later on. And I want to say it's a talent ability, but I can't remember for certain. Might be in here. Oh yeah, it's Sweeping Strikes. Sweeping Strikes is their first, like, true AoE ability. Can we get this bear? Yeah. Bear. And I'm not going to get Sweeping Strikes for a while now. Let's see. Uh, where is Don't my... touch me, bear! My tree is Sweeping Strikes. So I'm at 13 points. I'll need at least... 15 to get to this tier, 20 to get to Sweeping Strikes. Uh, which means... I'm not getting it until level 31? 32? One of those? Yeah, that's a long time to wait just to get a single AoE effect. <laughs> Two-handed weapon spec... Eh, that's not super appealing. Impale's pretty good. Increases the str critical strike bonus of all your stances by 10%. That's pretty decent. 20% total when you cap it, I guess. Another- oh, no, wait, that one's dead. JK. I don't know what I go into next. I want to say... So a third point there put me at 14, and I'll have to put one more point in. I think I drop back for improved charge at that point, or I can go into improved overpower. This song is too slow. It might be improved overpower, and then two ranks of this, and then back for improved charge. I think that's what it is. Because uh, I think improved overpower is going to be way more beneficial. What does that even do? Increases the crit strike chance by 25. So if that doubles, that's like 50% crit chance right there, plus another 20% base crit chance from uh, Impale, if that's what the second rank does. I'm not sure that's what the second rank does. That'd be a nice amount of crit. Hey, do you need enchants at all, by the way? Or I just gave you some- oh no, that was on your mage. Do you need any new enchants? Uh, let me check. My chest needs a new enchant, I know that, because I just got a new chest that's awesome. Okay, I think I have a 15 plus health for chest. I have other stuff too, but it's not as- it's like... Plus one something, and they're not very good. Hold on, do you want to do that now? Let me see. Let me tell you what I have. I have... Lesser health for chest, which will give you 15. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, increases your health by 15. I have some minor absorption for... It gives... Chest armor has a 2% chance per hit of giving 10 points of damage absorption. You don't need mana. So you want absorption or health? Uh, let's... The, absor the absorption's just a 2% chance per hit. 
I mean, that's honestly, how long does it last? Does it say, or how many points of absorption does it give? It says, piece of chest, enchant piece of chest armor, so it has a 2% chance per hit of giving you 10 points of damage absorption. Oh, that's weak. Yeah, I'll take health. Okay. Health is more consistent. If it had been more than 10 points, like if it had been like 100 points, I probably would have taken the damage absorption. Um, what about your bracers? Do they have anything? Well, I mean, what I have for them is kind of... My bracers have stamina. My hands have nothing. I don't have anything for hands. What about cloak? Do you have minor protection already? I have all resistances, plus one. So I have minor protection now for cloak. Um, it's 10 additional points of armor. You want that instead of the yes, one resistance? Yes, 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 yes. Armor's okay. better. Let's do that. Give me. Okay. Opening trade. There you go. Um... That's all I really have, other than some stamina <laughs> for bracers and some deflect for bracers, which neither of them are great. I have 1,100 armor right now. That's nuts. It's too far away. Hello, spider. All right. I don't know how much XP you need, but this spider might do it. Is that attack? Power. Okay, it's attack power. This bar does not move very much. I'm at 94%. Yeah, well, you gotta remember, you're not getting a ton of XP per enemy. Like, if you actually look at the XP that's left, we're probably barely making a dent with each enemy. I'm used to making more sizable dents because I'm used to using my mage, and my hunter can actually pull stuff that's a little higher level too because you get to cheese with the pet. I have some new gear in the bank for me when I hit 23, and I think I have some stuff for 22 also. That is actually something worth checking, because I might too. I wish that every zone had like a ratchet, like a neutral little town thing that had a bank in it. That'd be nice. But then we might get too close to retail. I think you can actually make a... Well, I, I I don't know if you can make a portable bank. I think you might be you able to. You can in retail. Um, yeah, I'm well, not sure if that's in in classic. No, uh, probably not. I think in retail, I know the goblins could do it as like a goblin trait. And then I think to be able to do it in retail, it's like a guild achievement. You know what I mean? So like when a guild levels a certain amount... Oh, well, there's it's available, but then I think well, no, you there's have to that, be... but there's also a deployable thing by oh. engineers. And I'm not sure if the engineer deployable one is still in classic or not. I know you can do something of that nature in classic. But well, with engineering. and then can you only use it if you have engineering then? Yeah. Ah. That's like one of the engineer specific oh, buff. things. Our buffs expired. But I also have engineering, so. Overpower. Oh my gosh, it always hits so nice. It's really funny too, because I think it only adds like five damage when I use it. Yeah, it's plus five damage to my normal swing, but it always feels like it hits really hard. I guess that's because my normal swing gets mi or whiffs more often. Okay, five more, five more percent is what I need. Oh wow, we're really not denting that bar at all. Nope. Well, this guy's 22. He's closer to our level, but some of those spiders we were just killing was 20. Okay, so that's 79. Your skill in unarmed has increased. Why would my skill in... See, at some point, I think, like, when I I thought my staff wasn't out, it was because it wasn't. Like, I, I wonder if I attacked mid-weapon swap or something, because I do have that weapon swap macro. That swaps with the stances. Hmm. Trying to find some slightly... There's another bear that's level 21. There's a 21 spider as well. I thought I pulled him, but I guess I didn't shoot him. I 
I didn't listen and I dotted them both. I know. I knew I as soon as the spider ran after you that that's what happened. Yeah. No, he ran after me after the dot, but yeah. It's... When it does damage over time. Yeah, it generates... The reason it's a problem is because it generates threat over time and I can't. If I'm hitting the other mob. I knew we could take it. It's good. There is another spooter over here. That guy told me thank you because I buffed him. <laughs> That's the best part of classic for you, isn't it? I'm such a thank you whore. All, All I, I want, want is your thank yous for my buffs. And for good to thunderclap my cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, that makes me think of Inky. I was gonna message her and be like, come join our stream, but I thought maybe she'd be working or something, so I didn't bug her. She might be, but there's also, like, potentially a hurricane where she's at. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, same with the uh, crutch that was in here earlier. In Texas right now, there's, like, a tier one hurricane. Know that. I don't, like, I don't open Discord unless I'm, like, calling you or something. And the other day, or last night or whatever, I got, like, a wild hair up my butt, and I was like, I'm gonna go see what's going on in Discord, and she'd, like, message me happy birthday and stuff, and I was like, oh shit, thanks, sorry. I know, it's almost like you should keep Discord open, because 90% of the internet uses it as a, com a communication it platform. Much, it makes too much noise, like, I had to mute the comic book club at the college's Discord, because it was constantly like, boop, 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 and I was like, shut up. Yeah, that's why you mute stuff that you don't care about. <laughs> No, I mute most things. I even, like, there's even channels on my own Discord that are muted. I usually mute everything, too, including in Messenger. Lazy mutes a bunch of stuff on my Discord, but I already know how to fix that problem. If I create a new channel, it doesn't get created muted. So if I really want to get a hold of Lazy, I can just create a new channel and spam Lazy. <laughs> <laughs> I only know this because I've accidentally bugged him with it before. <laughs> Lazy, I don't know if you're still here, but... I have not forgotten the power of the spam of the new channels. I'm at 97% now. Okay, let's just keep killing. I wonder if that's how I kept getting beeps when I kept muting the channel. I wonder if they had started new channels. I don't pay attention. Yeah, but that's why if you... Like, if you legitimately just don't care about anything on that server, like, you don't want to be notified by anything on that server, then you can mute the entire server. That's that's the way you want to do it if you're trying oh. to do that. And then if they if make a new I channel, did. it won't matter. I don't get beeps anymore. Because, like, Lazy won't mute the entire server because there are channels that he wants to hear from. I don't like this song either. To do, do, let's kill some more things. It's too far away. You're next. And I'm not close enough to shoot the bear. The range in, in Classic is so nuts because, like, you're either too close or too far. That's not your fault. That was me because I was shooting the bear. That's fine. I have buffs for such an occasion. I didn't do anything to the bear, though. I didn't even dot him. Yeah, but if you heal, it generates threat. Oh, I didn't heal, but I think I put a buff on you. Your bubble Baby, generates threat, too. I can't not too. heal, okay? It's my job. Yet. You're perfectly welcome to heal. Just try to let me get a couple sunders up on the target first. That's generally the way people do it, is the warrior gets two sunders and then you go in. Because that gives them a lead on threat that you can't take away from them. Okay, he's at two sunders now. Do what you want. It is a warrior ability oh, that it. reduces their armor and generates threat. How do I know if you get two? It just tells me a number. When I look over the... when I hover over it on the dude. On the bear. Do you not have buff icons for the bear? I do, but it doesn't give me, like... Alright, hold on. So it doesn't, it says armor decreased by 90, and now it says 180, so is 90 your base? Do you look at the bottom right corner of the little square that shows the icon? Do you see the number three? Oh yeah, that's really tiny. 
I wouldn't notice that. Okay. Yeah, that's how they, even in the base game, that's how they display stacks. I know, but it's really, really tiny. I don't know if it's because I have the, the pixel font or if it's this UI or what. Oh, it might be the pixel font. The pixel font does, it has a smaller X height. I didn't even notice it until you pointed it out. Did you use the pixel font for everything? Yes. <laughs> okay, well that's your own mistake. Oh, I know it's there now that you've pointed it out. I just didn't notice it before. Yes, but you used the most illegible font option you had for everything. I like it. Like, you could use it for chat and I wouldn't care because who the heck reads chat anyway, but... I mean, in-game, not in in dis or not in Twitch. I'm, Listen, I'm paying attention. I can attention. use it for whatever I want. It's too far away. Yes, you are allowed I'm to make 99%. your screen as illegible as you please. Y'all, he always shitting on me. Are you for this. real? Look at this. I so abuse. Ding! Okay. Somebody adopt me. Let's uh, head back to Undercity and see if we can get some new skills, because that would help things out a lot, I think. Man, I guess we just went into this area, like, slightly too soon. I thought we were in the right range, but I guess we're a little I bit under. I think we've been doing fine. Yeah, but look at all of our quests in the area. Every quest we have available to us is a higher level than we are. That's what I'm telling you. That's not But there's normally. two of us, and you have a pocket priest. So I think if we pull one at a time... We could do it very, ability. very slowly and inefficiently. And, in, uh, and inefficiently, you're right. It's not a matter of can we do it. It's a matter of why are we spending six hours doing this when we could do something on level and get to the correct level to do these oh in two. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So time efficient in a game. We're flying to Undercity, you said? Do we have shit to turn in here first? Uh, nope. We shouldn't have anything to turn in. Okay. But yeah, we're heading to Undercity so we can get new skills. What is it? I wonder what I get at this level. Hopefully it's something nice. Do not I don't know, man. Like Dark sometimes you, watch over you. Sometimes you level up and when you go to actually train, like you don't have anything and that, that feels really bad in classic. As much as, like, leveling is, is more time-consuming and requires more work. Like, I feel like every time you level up, when you go back, there should be some kind of ability awaiting for you. Even if it's a garbage one, like, that's, you know, there are levels where you get garbage abilities, and that's fine. But, like, there are levels when you just get nothing. You legitimately get nothing but a talent point, and I'm like, okay, well, that's cool, I guess. Thanks for the talent point game, but otherwise there's no benefit here. That seems weird. I don't think there should be empty levels. And that's what it feels like is an empty level. Hmm. Yeah, it's weird because I, I don't get them that often when I think about it, but, but every once in a while you level up and you're like, I get nothing. And I wonder if on some of those levels, if you were in a different spec, you would actually get something because there are spec specific abilities and stuff. Want to buy WC run, please send tell. Dude, I saw somebody in chat saying they got scammed on a run today. <laughs> and they were just like yelling in the zone about how this person scammed them and was horrible. And it was a mage, and they said that they got scammed because the mage died in the place that they were supposed to take them to boost them. And, like, the best part was, B, somebody in chat was just like, well, then play the game right instead of having other people boost your character. <laughs> like, like, fucking wrecked. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> Doesn't matter you got screwed out of gold because you're a, you're a, a poser or something, I guess. <laughs> I don't know, getting boosted seems weird to me, like... If you have a friend, I don't, like... Maybe that's what it is, maybe the people that pay for boosts just don't have any friends. Because I'd much rather just hit up a friend and be like, you want to drag me through a dungeon for a couple minutes? Okay now, gotta go find a warrior trainer. I'm assuming that they are going to be in the war quarter, since that makes the most sense.
<sighs> and I would guess that yours is either in the magic quarter or the apothecarium, but probably the magic quarter. My class trainer? Yeah. I'm gonna have to ask one of the fat guys. Once I actually, I, I don't remember where it's at. I would assume that it's in the magic quarter, because I think the war quarter has like... You know, I don't think it's in the main circle. I think it might be on the outskirts because I'm pretty sure you took me there once. I'm pretty sure most of the, the class trainers are on the outskirts. Ah. Like they're in the little alcoves at the, the very end of their respective things. Uh, so I think the war quarter is like more melee stuff. The magic quarter is your casters. The rogues quarter is your more agile characters. And then the apothecarium, I believe, is primarily professions. All right, I'm here in the war quarter. Where's the warrior trainer? Where am I? Yeah, I'm in the war quarter. Thought maybe this was the magic quarter. Oh, the priest trainer is in the war quarter. I just found him. Okay. I got him flagged on my thing. Oh, there's a warrior quest. Goodbye. There's a warrior quest. That means I get a good weapon. All the warrior quests give good weapons. Not gonna waste money on Thunderclap. We'll take Rend. What? I thought you were gonna Thunderclap my cheeks. Oh, guess what I get at this level? What? Dual wield. Ooh. Uh, as well as cle uh, Cleave, a sweeping attack that does your weapon damage plus five to the target and its nearest ally. A uh, new battle shout, intimidating shout, causes the target to cower in fear. That's nice. A new rank of Sunder Armor. Disarm. Instantly counterattack an enemy that strikes you in melee for 15 seconds. Melee attacks made from behind cannot be counterattacked. A maximum of 30 attacks will cause retaliation. Yeah, so I'm going to get most of this stuff because it all actually does seem pretty good here. Battle Shout is, of course, amazing. Uh, Intimidating Shout is also amazing. Intimidating Shout is actually really good for PvP. And then I got Dual Wielding and now Disarm, which I'm not sure I'll even use, but I might as well take it because it's okay. Uh, Thunderclap, though, is generally considered a waste, I think, by the majority of warriors. Okay, new skills to put on the bars. Let's go. Uh, retaliation can only be used in... Battle stance. It's my, uh... And then what else did I get? Uh, my other abilities might rank up. It depends. Where did you see my trainer? They're right outside the. Oh, oh I see. Okay, okay. you right. got them. Uh, so that's retaliation. I also got a new rank of Sunder Armor and a Disarm. Let me check Sunder make sure I got that newest rank. I do indeed. Uh, and then Fury got Intimidating Shout and Cleave. So let's put Cleave on the E key. Not what I wanted. And let's put Intimidating Shout on... God dang it. Hmm. That's tough. Uh, is this only usable in a specific stance? Not what no, I it's want not. Either. So that means I want to put it up here somewhere. So I'll go for SQ. Is cleave only usable in a go. certain stance? No, it's not. So I'll also put that up top somewhere. Uh, so that's kind of the dynamic I use for my action bars. I put anything that can be used in any of my stances on the top bar and then anything that's stance specific on the bottom. Uh, so, for example, we got disarm, which I'll throw over here. I got probably a shackle there. undead thing. I can shackle undead We're actually now. right there. Ooh. Me, I'm gonna go use the restroom. Okay. <sighs> Alright, well, while she does that, I might swap over to my mage for a second and see if we can get some fun pulls in on them. It's almost too early, I guess. I know. When you get back out, you want to order lunch? We'll figure out what we get. Alright. Let's switch over to the mage for a bit. And see what fun things we can do. I have to target something first. Oh, I still have all my buffs. Nice. This. Hey there. 
Hello, friends. Oh, I have no mana. Uh-oh. Okay. Um, quick solutions. Evocation is the best quick solution. And we do this. Get our range. And we drop the blizzard. Oh, beautiful. That could not have gone better if I planned it. I definitely should have checked my mana. Still, this was kind of perfect. And everything dies. That was nice. That was actually a really, really nice pull right there. Let's get some mana. Uh, I do need to get a mana agate here. I also need to get some regular mana. Or some water, rather. Uh, and I guess some food. We don't really need food that often, but it doesn't hurt to have some for between pulls, so you can just kind of mana and food back up, and then go do your next AoE pull. Glad all my buffs stayed up too, though, because it would have been kind of annoying if we ended up wasting that well-fed buff. That mana regen from our sage fish is really, really nice. Oh, there's a chest over there I can loot too. It's not locked. Dun dun dun. Gonna go snag me an alliance chest. I'll probably do this. Oh, okay. That's a problem. That is a level 38 alliance hunter. I'm just going to put my shield up and try to go away. Or just mess up horribly. Just keep myself moving. And there's a lot of Alliance players on over here today. It's actually kind of weird. I don't normally see anyone over here. Normally I'm able to just kind of do my business and nobody messes with me. I wonder if people are coming back because Phase 6 is coming. I think it's Phase 6, which is the uh, Gates of Encourage. Alright, well he seems to have left. I guess I'll just go ahead and mana up. I don't know why he left. He could have just chased me down and killed me. I mean, if you're going to start crap, why not finish it? You know what I mean? Like, it seems weird to me that he started trouble and then just bounced. But maybe I just have a different mentality. Drink some more water. Should be good to go after that. Provided no other random hunters decide to pot shot me on the way through. Maybe his maybe maybe that was the hunter's whole point was to mess with my head. Like why did they pot shot me on the way through but not come after me? Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and snag this and then we're gonna move into the cave. Ooh. That's not a bad pull. I mean it's mostly just food stuff, but whatevs. Alrighty then. This is where the fun starts. Gonna go ahead and throw a mana shield up real quick just so that I don't get like stun locked in place. Wand this guy to try to bring him into this pull. Drop another mana shield real quick. Boom! Uh, that was good until they got me there. It's fine, put Blizzard down as quickly as I can because I need to make sure that we get the slow on them as soon as possible. And jump away. Blizzard again. Took a little too long there on that second blizzard, and I'm probably going to pay for it here. Uh, as long as I can do this, though, we're safe. And I can. going to go ahead and pop a mana pot, and then drop a third blizzard. That is a level 1 blizzard, though, instead of a level 2 or a rank 2 blizzard. And that's really not going to kill off that higher health guy. Like, he's just going to end up being a headache no matter what I do. So I'm going to run through here. Probably pop that up. Oh, come on! That higher level guy was the problem. He got me there. So that's a wipe. I don't know how that one guy, like, he broke free of the pack sooner than anybody else did, and that's usually how it goes. Like, one guy breaks free and kills you. 
I also could have gone a different route. I went for the mana pot there. That was 280 mana. I could have gone for the agate. That would have been better. Because if I'd gone for the agate there, I could have just spammed uh, arcane explosions. And that would have finished him pretty easily. Pretty handily. Rank 2 arcane explosion. Don't I have a new one of those? No. Rank 2 is still correct. Uh, I suppose on that last pull too, I could have gone for flame strike if I had the mana. I don't know if I had the mana though. I probably had the mana. It's only 330 for Flame Strike. Flame Strike's another really, really good way to finish off those AoE pulls because it does do the AoE damage, but it also applies damage over time. Oh well, it is what it is. I killed most of those enemies though, so there should, well, no, like three of them survived. I don't know how we're gonna deal with this. This is gonna be ugly. That That's what's gonna happen when we go respawn. It's gonna be ugly. Actually, you know what we'll do? I'll respawn outside. I know how to set this up. I know how to set this up so we can just go back in and be successful again. Shouldn't be too tough at all. The biggest problem is that when you have the mana shield, using it like drains too much of your mana, which means you don't have enough to AOE them down when you get done. And if you don't use it and you run past enemies like that in a small enclosed area, then they hit you and they daze you and you get wrecked trying to get to the next enemy. There are some ways to kind of cheese it. I'm just not great at them. Like if you strafe and then jump and look back the whole time like this, then they don't daze you as often. But it's also hard to track where you're going when you're, you know, looking away from where you're going. Uh, so I find myself, like, running forward, which lets me keep an eye on where we're going, but it doesn't actually protect me from getting dazed. And then things just go south quick. But that's okay. We should be in a good place here to kind of run forward, get our respawn, and then maybe head into the Azure Load Mine to kill some more enemies. Ah, uh, Mud Snout Blossoms, that's for an Elixir quest. Soothing Turtle Bisque, yeah, we're not going to get that anytime soon. I still didn't get that mission. That's level 33 though, so I'm a little ways off. Oh wow, I'm actually only 10 levels, well, 11 levels away from my mount on this character and I'm quite a bit of gold away. I keep forgetting to check my mail too. So in total I have 20 gold. I need 100 to get the first mount and the first training. So I am not I'm like a quarter or a fifth of the way there. I'm not even a quarter of, of the way there yet. That's rough. <laughs> that That is the roughest thing so far. Uh, I guess I should be selling more of the stuff that I get on my mage. Like I've sent Muerto like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of cloth so far. Um, and I've sent it to my other characters too to help them get first aid and stuff. But I think maybe if I actually sell that cloth, it'll be more beneficial to me in the long run. In the wrong run. I can't even use these pots yet. That's unfortunate. Um, what else could I potentially take advantage of here? There's always fun little things you can use to kind of give yourself a slight edge. Like, I fish up a lot of this alcohol. This character has really high fishing, uh, really high cooking. I'm capped out on cooking. Wait, where do I go to raise my cooking? Oh, that's right. That's something I was actually looking at doing. I think I need to go to Desolus. I, I'm pretty sure it's Desolus, which if I'm not mistaken is over here in Kalimdor. Yeah, it's right there. So I need to go to Thunder Bluff and then run directly west, I think. Although I'm not sure there's actually an entrance to Desolus from there. I think I might have to go through the Stone Talon Mountains right here or through Feralis right here. Uh, but Desolus is where you got to go to get that next level of cooking. I ended up, like, running the opposite direction because I was looking at the map. Uh, anyways, getting that, that cooking upgrade will be really nice, though. I'm holding on to a recipe right now that will let me turn my uh, sage fish into something even nicer. True Silver Transformer, that's another one that's a nice recipe I can potentially sell. This is the character I went into Ratchet on and bought a bunch of stuff to sell. Uh, herbalism's okay, alchemy's okay right now. I'm just locked on cooking, first aid, and fishing. Oh, actually, no, I already got the fishing book, that's right. Uh, let's do this. Let's res right here. Keeps us out of aggro range from anything. Go ahead and recast our buffs. 
eat our food, drink our water. After the first batch of food and water, we'll still be down some mana because we won't get enough mana off of one water. So that's when we'll eat the sage fish. That way we preserve as much of the well-fed buff as we can as far as duration goes. And then we'll head in. We will start doing this over again and hopefully not die this time. I hear a sound like somebody is attacking, but I don't see anyone. So now I'm waiting to get jumped by that Alliance Hunter. Huh? No, no. And here I thought I was done for. Uh, so as soon as we get our well-fed buff here and our mana fills up, which should be maybe one more pulse. Yeah, it's good enough. Uh, here we go. Hello there, Hillsbrad Foreman. How you doing? So here I'm going to use that side strafing technique I was talking about. It's only when they hit you in the back that you can become dazed. Okay, so now we got this. We hit those guys like that, so now we're not dazed. Get as much distance as we can, and then turn around and nail them with Blizzard. Please catch them. Oh, just in time. But we have a, a respawn right here, which is a problem. So what we're going to do is we're going to polymorph the respawn. Oh, we have two respawns. Okay. Two respawns is not... We're not recovering from this now. We've got to back out. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to back out right here. I'm going to let aggro fall off so that they all leave me alone. Come on. Give it up. Okay. They're all going to run back. We're going to come sit down, mana back up, and try it again. That was super unfortunate right there. That's the one thing that I've really... No, go away. What are you doing? Uh, the one thing I've really noticed is tough about the AoE farming mage builds is that, like, especially in, in this area, but actually it's more so in this area. It was fine on the farms. On the farms, you have a bunch of individualized pulls, and it's not a big deal. But here, if you mess up one pull, then you basically have to reset because every pull is hidden behind the next pull. So if you don't get the first pull right, then you don't get any of the pulls right. And at that point, you're just kind of screwed. So I'm going to do the strafe run here that I was doing last time. We're going to focus on just getting through here and trying to tag this guy. Just want to tag him with that. And I want to put my mana shield up. I did get days there, which is a problem. But the days ran out just in time. And Blizzard. As long as they all get caught in that blizzard, we're fine here. We are a little low on health. It's not comfortable, but we're fine here. Get that second blizzard up. Oh yeah, this is this is a fine pull. We're going to complete this pull without any trouble. Going to freeze them down, and then one more blizzard should do it. One of the guys did wander off there, so we're going to have to kill him separately with a wand. But that's fine. Should be able to wand him down in three hits. Yeah. Beautiful. He actually died on top of all the other ones, too. Okay. That was a reasonably good recovery. Getting dazed right when we were trying to lock them down wasn't particularly helpful. But it was a good recovery. Uh, and our inventory is almost full. So <laughs> that's, that's another problem you run into a lot. Uh, let's go ahead and nami nami nom. Is that ice barrier? Why are you... Oh, he's level 60. I wonder what he's doing here. There's, like, no benefit to it for him. I'm going to start discarding stuff that I don't need to keep right now. Um, mainly because I need inventory slots back, and this will free them up. Don't need that. Anything else I can just out and out toss. Don't really need the thin claw. Seems fine. Mana's almost full. I'm just going to wait for it to tick up here. Uh, it'll probably tick up by the time I get to doing what we're doing next as far as pulls go, though. Uh, so here, this is a little bit trickier because of the way that this pull right here works. We either commit early on... Oh, they're gone. Dude already killed them all. That That's what he was doing. Why, though? Why are you even down here? You don't need these mobs. You're, like, super high level. I'm just gonna do this. This is fine. I... Highly, highly doubt they're going to get close enough to be an issue. Yeah, we're just going to take them down like this. Uh, they might get close enough to hit me before this blizzard finishes, but I doubt it. And we'll just freeze them. 
Cone of Cold. One Arcane Blast, they should be done. Nope. There we go. He was in his retreat phase, so he wasn't going to hit us anyway. Uh, so that was fine. We only got two out of that. Not the best pull, but it is what it is. Uh, they'd already pulled everything over there, so we missed out on some XP there. But at the same time, we're now prepared to go into our next pull. The main crux of the next pull is getting this guy. We have to pull this guy, and we have to do that without pulling the uh, boss mob kind of thing over here. Not a boss mob, but a quest mob, because the quest mob over here actually summons additional mobs. And if he does that while you're freezing things down, you're done for. Uh, it does look like he's dead, so maybe that guy was here completing quests. I want to say that's what he was doing. Uh, so we're going to use a fireball here to pull this guy. And then once he gets down here, we're just going to freeze everybody down. Strafe to our distance. And then turn and blizzard. Pretty sure that was a good blizzard. It was not. Uh, they're still going to run into it, though. It'll still slow them down. And then we will be able to buy a little space. They're going to get real close to us, if not too close. They're going to get too close. Uh, so I'm going to lock them down with that. And then get some more distance. Hit the wrong key. Like a pro, guys. Always hit the wrong key like a pro. But here we have so much mana that it doesn't even matter. Like, I'm just going to hit them with this and then Arcane Explosion them down. Yeah. It's not a big deal. As long as we have mana left, we're fine. The real problem comes when we don't have mana. I think I just got a shirt, too. Oh, no, that's actually armor. It'd be nice if you just got more shirts. That would be kind of cool, because a lot of my characters don't even have shirts. <laughs> There's no reason to. Uh, okay. I'm going to mana up and food up here real quick. This is actually not the safest place to do this. But I know for a fact there's a path that walks around here. And I'm trying to get him to walk over here before I do the next pull. Because it'll make the next pull a lot easier. There he is, right there. He is a huge problem if we don't get him in the right place at the right time. Uh, and we're probably going to need one more water to get us there. So I'm just going to preemptively dunk that water. And then I'm going to try to tag this guy. And grab him and all the guys down here in this tunnel. That is the wrong key. That is the right key. Hey there, guys. What's up? How's everybody doing? That's right. Just follow me. Right here. Good job. You guys did an excellent job. Best miners ever. I hit the wrong button. I might screw up here. Oh, please. Please, 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 please. Okay. That was better. Got lucky there. Oh yeah, this is a good pull. This is a good pull. We're fine. Just gonna lock them down in place, and one more blizzard for good measure. If that doesn't kill them all, I'll be amazed. It'll at least send them into retreat animations, then we can finish them with the wand. Alright. So, that was a pretty solid pull there. Now we just gotta mana back up. And we are about 53% of the way through this level. Who's even dead? <laughs> I thought the other cat was down there, and it's the dumb cat. That makes more sense. Uh, okay, some more water here. I could try to pull this guy. I'm not sure if he'll fit into the pull that I'm doing, though. I think he's actually better off in the next pull probably save him for the next pull. He might have even been doable in that pull, but I, I feel like he's better off in the next pull, to be honest. Okay, let's get these guys. Hey, what's up, boys? How you doing? I'm your friendly neighborhood frost mage. Just hoping you'd like to come and stand over here in a still spot for me so that I could kill you. That'd be great. Thank you very much for your cooperation. I appreciate that. Through your cooperation, I'm able to get excellent amounts of XP here. Do a little hop skip, and more. More blizzards. All the blizzards. They're gonna get real close. Okay, they were getting too close, so I had to go ahead and hit the... the nope button there, which is Frost Nova, and then we just burn them down. Beautiful XP there. Just lovely. It's 
like a cathartic experience to have a poll go really, really well like that. We're also getting decent amounts of money right now. I got like one silver off of one of those guys, which isn't, you know, a ton, but it's it's a step in the right direction. Uh, now is a good time for us to mana back up. We haven't even needed a mana pot or a mana gem yet, which is crazy. Uh, this has been pretty, pretty clean. Hey, good to see you, Cheeseburger. I, I didn't know who was still here. I turned the viewer numbers off because that stuff bugs me anyway. I told my mom we were still streaming and she goes, What's streaming? I tried asking your dad and he doesn't know. And I was like, you know how you say hi to Cody on Facebook when he's playing his game sometimes? And she's like, yeah, I like hearing his voice. And I was like, that's what that is. Only he does it on other places too, like YouTube and Twitch. And when you talk in there, people, other people can see you. And she goes, oh, okay, computer nerd. And I told her we were playing WoW. Um, she said she's glad I have someone that I have something in common with and we can spend time doing something together with even if it's gaming. Even if it's oh, gaming. she said correction, gaming nerds. Even if it's gaming. She called us well. gaming nerds, though. That was pretty... not boomer of her. She's, uh, she's growing. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What are you uh -oh We must hide. Oh! It didn't work, guys. Oh, it did. It did. <laughs> Oh my god, that was the best. That was the best. I would actually Twitch clip that. That was amazing. B, I did this pull in the mines and like it was very clear to me that we weren't going to succeed at it because one of the guys broke free. And I ran and hid behind a barrel and they all finally just barely like broke their follow after that. Are you able to see what I'm doing right now? Uh, I was, it got paused. Okay, you should unpause it. I'll, I'll switch back over to my warrior in a second. I just want you to see this pull. This is gonna be awesome. Hey, they're ugly. Let's go. You too. Come on. I know you guys are working hard in the mines all day. Don't worry. You'll never have to mine again. You too. Come on. Hey, are you playing a clip? No, I'm I'm playing my mage. But I'm, oh, well, you told me to watch what you're doing. I don't know if I could see what you did. It's past that part. No, no, no. I'm doing it right now, B. Oh, you're going to do it again? Yeah, I'm doing it correctly this time in a way that won't see me dying. Oh, that was gorgeous. Perfect. Just perfect. Did he get away? No, he's dead. Just beautiful. How did- where did he come from? Okay, so the bad news here is that if I don't get out of here soon, I'm gonna get caught because all these guys are gonna respawn at once. Just freezing everyone, huh? That's pretty good though. Yeah, you can put together groups of like 10 guys. Do you remember the WoW pandemic? I do. The WoW pandemic was incredible. Do you remember that, BB, when people would- When everyone got the dot and took it into town and gave it to everyone else? Yeah, <laughs> and you couldn't do anything in they... town because all it was was corpses. So I I listened to a podcast once, um, and if I remember correctly, I might have this wrong, but I'm pretty sure people like researchers use that to like study how diseases spread. Or at least a, an explanation of how they spread. I mean, that seems like a fair example. I'm actually, I'm gonna look that up. Okay, you look that up. I'm gonna do another pull because I am getting some sweet, sweet AoE pulls here. That guy padded from all the way back here. Jeez. Talk about putting in the work. This guy is not messing around. Uh, this is kind of a garbage pull. There's only like three of them, but that's okay. I don't even need my mana shield for this pull. Probably don't even need Blizzard for this pull, but... I mean, that's being a little bit sardonic. You definitely need Blizzard for an AoE pull, period. Uh-oh. Why you gotta break through like that, man? Why you gotta make my life harder? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Double uh-oh. 
you need to go. I need to do this. I need to hit a mana gem. I need to get these guys to follow me. And then I need to kill them. And that is how you survive. Pop a health potion. Deal with this guy. He's not going to be up for a second, though. And even when he is up, I can just do this. Yeah, it it attracted the attention of epidemiologists for its implications of how human populations could react to a real, real world pandemic. Yeah, well, I mean, I wouldn't call the people that spread it in WoW idiots. That was kind of the point, Morbids, when that happened, was it was supposed to be an event about spreading it. They got the, um... That was the wrong spell. An epidemiologist physician uh, in Israel pointed out how it could uh, role-playing games could serve as a model for how diseases, infectious diseases, travel. I mean, this is true. Oh, and then the Center of Disease and Control and Prevention con contacted Blizz and requested statistics of the event for research. Yeah, so when that event actually happened, they wanted people to spread it, though. Like, that was the whole point, because they were doing the release of uh, Wrath of the Lich King. It's, that said it was supposed to only last a few seconds, and it was a glitch, which caused everyone to get it, and for pets and minions to get it, and then well, it spread all over. Well, there's two different ones, right? I'm looking at the Corrupted Blood one. That's the one. That's I, that's the only one I know of where it got spread to everyone, and it, it killed everyone. You don't remember when Wrath of the Lich King was coming out, they did the event where everybody would get the Scourge and you could run into town and detonate yourself to give everybody else the disease? No, that's not what I'm talking about. Yeah, I'm just saying there was another event, just there was one just like that, that's what I'm saying. Oh. That the... was an actual game event. It was the Scourge event and you could run into town and detonate yourself, which would give everybody else the Scourge and they would eventually die too, but they could also detonate themselves to give everybody else the Scourge. And like entire cities were nothing but piles of bones. Well, that happened in this too, but it wasn't intentional. Yeah, so they did it once intentionally and once unintentionally. What am I doing here? Huh. Somebody already cleared this part, so I guess I am free and clear of the mines. All right, so that was one whole rotation through the mines. Did I just aggro something? No. That chest is back. Too bad it's a garbage chest that has nothing but food in it. But these guys are back, so now you could theoretically just do another run through. And just keep on grinding that XP with the AoE stuff. Oops. like that. Get my space. Turn. Drop the blizzard. Beautiful pull. Just a beautiful pull. That was clean. That was super clean. Uh, YouTuber did something like that in Dead by Daylight. There's a perk where you can infect surfaces and anyone who touches it gets lit up to the infector. Oh yeah, that's probably one of the new uh, monsters that I haven't seen before. Oof, okay. I'm gonna head on out of here so I can switch back over to my warrior now. I was just doing this while Jess was using the restroom. Getting a lot of XP from Rested, too. Rested XP is, like, one of the big, big things. It's super the nice. cooking recipe for Big Bear Steak? Uh, I already have one on my warrior that I'm probably going to send over to this guy. Oh. What should we get for lunch, BB? I don't know. I was waiting for us to be done. Do you want crispy spider meat? I'm going to send you a bunch of meat. Uh, Can you cook spider legs? Actually, if you have any loose meat at all... Send it to Ames Good. I'll, I'll tell you how to spell it. Okay, well, I'm not doing it right now. We'll do it later. Uh, that's my hunter, and I need tons of meat on him so that I can feed my boar. 
as my okay. boar is always hungry. I don't need a sharp claw for any reason. Uh, I know that gets used in some crafting, but I can't remember what crafting is. I'm gonna get rid of the spider leg. I'll save the spider meat, though. Oh, wait, I sold the wrong thing. Give me that back. Take this. You're not the party leader. Oh, I tried to invite you, but we're already in a group. It just made you the party leader when I logged out. Uh... Doo -doo -doo. Just gonna go swim through this green nuclear muck. Don't mind me. Uh, I don't have my phone or I would start looking at food places. Oh, my iPad's dying. Because I'm hungry enough to order something before we're done so that it'll be here when we're done. I'm looking. Okay, thank you, baby. Wow, that's a back piece right there. Dang, that's enough to buy three level 40 mounts that they're selling that for. Which is probably fair, because it's a purple recipe, which means it probably drops out of one of the raids. Peace Bloom times 180 for 15G. I think I have that in the bank on my mage. Uh, so maybe I can actually do something like that to make my golds. I probably have a ton of copper on this character too. Oh, I remember what I was doing on this character for money. I gotta go check my, my mail because I might have another three gold. I made three gold selling shotguns on this character and I sold two of them so far. If I sold a third right now, then I'm just gonna build... You oh. want panda? Uh, sure. Panda sounds fine. Hey, I did. I made two gold and 85 silver. That's still pretty good. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the materials that I need to build another one of those shotguns. Oh, they're out of firecracker shrimp. I don't want this anymore. Oh, yeah. If, the, if they're out of firecracker shrimp, I, I'm out too because that's my mainstay. Do I really not have copper tubes? How do I not have copper tubes? Um... This was the gun I was selling, right? Yeah, it is. So, I need copper tubes, oh, which are just shit, made from what copper. I do. do I not have copper? I guess I'm pretty light on copper right now, too. I should probably hit a vendor and just sell a bunch of crap to start with, because I'm not going to have the inventory to do anything anyway. Uh, you're a vendor, right? Yes, you are. Yeah. Buy things. Uh, you can have the melon juice. I have no need for that. This won't sell for anything on the market, so I might as well just sell it here because it's just a waste of an inventory slot. That'll sell for something on the market, but it's so little that I don't even know if it's worth listing it. This is why I don't have food, because I just sell my food. Ooh, lion meat. I might send over to my hunter. That's probably a better idea. Yeah, I'm gonna send that to my hunter and then I'm gonna send... So... Aims good. Gets... Lion's meat. And anything else I need to send him? Uh... Not really. Most of this stuff isn't great for him anyway. Oh, I did get that axe for him, I thought. Nope, I didn't. Okay, so yeah, I don't need to send him anything. I'm just gonna send him this. And then for my mage... If all I really have for the mage is the steel loom, I'll just hold it. Like, there's no reason to... Yeah, I'll, I'll send a, med, uh, a letter later with it. Oh, I guess I could have sent him the recipe for lion chops. Or big bear steak, rather. That's pretty decent. That sells pretty well, too. 23 uh, silver her thing of big bear steaks you make is pretty good. So let's stash gems. Stash anything else that I don't think I'll need for crafting. Or for directly selling to the market. Oh, that just organized this. Um, 
I've got bronze tubes, I don't have copper tubes. Let's pull that out, pull that out. Probably won't need the stone, but I'm gonna pull it out anyway just in case. Uh, and I could sell my crude scopes too, those are actually pretty decent as well. As far as how much they sell for. Can you... I wonder if you can sell the headgear. Like, I doubt it, right? Because it requires as much engineering as it takes to make it to wear it. So why would somebody even buy it? And anyone who touched... Oh, okay, I already read that. Just, just making sure. Uh, so let's go ahead and throw some stuff on the auction house. Keeping that. That I got a vendor. That I want to sell. I'm making sure that I'm not already selling that on another character. That's why I was looking at that. That's why people typically use a bank character so they don't end up selling the same thing on different characters. Because that can be non-beneficial. Uh, let's see. Oh, my bad. Oh, really? Okay. Um... My bad, Cheeseburger. The the bot decided to be a butt about you using three symbols in a row, which is silly. I don't know why it would do that. Uh, let's see. I'll take this. Oh, bagel flavor choice. You okay over there? Toasted with turkey, Avardi. <laughs> Why do they? <laughs> I like how they have like avocado listed in multiple places. Yeah. any of this crazy stuff. You okay? Did you get like chips or anything with it? Okay, I'm gonna get some chips. Alright, I got what I wanted. Their chips are expensive, man. They want three twenty-five for a bag of chips. That's crazy. Oh, two twenty-five. I guess that's not as bad, but that's still pretty bad. Ow. Okay. So I already sold these, right? Yeah. Goblin jumper cables are up. What else might I want to sell? Nothing in particular at the moment, because I want to hold on to my shield and weapon. Oh, I did get the axe. Cool. I'm gonna send that over to my hunter later. Uh, which is unfortunate, because I already sent the hunter the lion's meat. Let's go make some guns. We an arms dealer. Actually can't remember where the, uh, engineering trainer is at. Hey! <laughs> What's up, dad? Are you, oh, you guys are watching on Facebook. Yeah, yeah, uh... <laughs> welcome in. Good... Good parents, I guess. Uh, you guys might not even get that reference. Huh? No, no, no. I didn't mean, like, I guess they were good parents. My parents were great. I meant good parents as a pun because my name is good. Any anyway, you guys got it. You guys got it. I just hope my dad did. <laughs> um, I'm going to go for engineering here, so that should tell me where I need to go. <laughs> Yeah, okay, so it's down at the Rogue's Quarter, that's what I thought. We're gonna go make a couple shotguns to sell on the market. Uh, Jess is, is here as well, Dad. She's just ordering us lunch right now, and then she'll be back over here. Uh, and we're we're going off the air in like 30 minutes or so anyway. Uh, my folks, say hi. Hi! Yeah, you probably just heard her there. <laughs> yeah, that's fine, baby. Um... What kind of Snapple do they have? Maybe I'll get one of those. I was thinking about a soda, but I don't want to drink soda because that's not healthy and I'm what trying to... Fresh juice what kind of fresh squeezed juice do they have? Fruit, 
Yeah, I. You know what's funny about that cheeseburger? Um, grapefruit, lemonade, strub. Strawberry lemonade. Yes, please. Yeah, I'll just take a strawberry lemonade. If it's a diet Snapple, I don't care. Um, yeah, no, it's funny you mentioned that cheeseburger because, like, for almost... God, I, I want to say it was, like, three years before anybody actually knew my real name on on stream because I was really, really good about keeping it... What now? Yeah. Because I was really, really good about keeping it quiet. I mean, it doesn't really matter in a lot of ways, too. Like, it only matters if you're worried people are going to harass you, because that does happen to some people. But, like, there's legitimately no benefit to anyone harassing me. So if somebody wants to waste their time, they're more than welcome to, but it won't make much of a difference. Uh, okay. So we're going to make some copper here, because we need copper to make copper tubes. And once we make copper tubes, we can make a shotgun, and then we can sell the shotguns for some money. And someday we'll have enough money to, to get a riding mount like a real boy. <laughs> and people are complaining about how bad our side is in the player versus player stuff. That's, uh, yeah, that is a long name, but it's also kind of cool, right? Like, that's a pretty unique name. You don't really he hear that very often. You don't, you don't really heal that very often. Tongue-tied, y'all. Tongue-tied. Then get tea, baby. I don't care. <laughs> you don't know what you want. Yeah, I am. I am honestly like I. I you're famous now. <laughs> I am the least famous person you've ever met. I am like a. Somebody once told me that uh, talking to me was like talking to a celebrity, which made zero sense because like you know how there's a-list celebrities and b-list celebrities i'm like a z-list celebrity like i exist and some people know who i am but not not very many people really care and that's okay uh there are people that that genuinely do care there are a lot of people that actually uh love the wrestling show for example like i get messages about that all the time i actually the other day i was uh i was just messing around looking at some of the facebook groups for fire pro and like two people that I had said nothing to, I had no interaction with, we're linking my videos and talking about them and stuff. And that was just a, a really, like, positive experience in and of itself. It actually kind of made my day. It makes my day when I go see somebody else, like, hey, you should check out one of this guy's videos, because they got no reason to do that other than if they enjoy the content. And that's, that's a powerful, powerful thing in and of itself. Um, and that makes me more excited to do it, too, because there's... There's definitely work that goes into it. Um, the outcome is usually pretty good, though, I think. Uh, I can't wait until later today, Cheeseburger, because there's there's going to be a big thing going up today that's something new that I've, you know, I've never really done anything like it before, so that should be pretty cool. At least I think it will. We'll see. Okay, so to make copper tubes, I need weak flux. And to make copper bolts, I just need copper bolts. Medium leather is going to be the biggest problem. So to make more guns, I'm going to have to spend a little bit of money, too. I'm in the Z rank as well. Hey, man, that's okay. That's a good place to be. Z rank just means you haven't gotten popular enough to forget where you came from yet. Uh, Let's go for... 12? I think 12 copper bolts. That'll give us enough to make three more rifles. I usually only sell items three at a time, because if you do more than that, you flood the market, and then people don't want to buy them anymore. You okay over there? I have a hiccup. I could tell. That is a really cool name for a weapon. Somebody's got a weapon called Kang the Decapitator. Oh, that just looks awesome, too. Just a gnarly looking axe. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. I, I get that. I have some popularity in a couple different communities, um, but I'm not, you know, I'm not really what I would call famous. Like, I'm pretty popular in the Endless community, I'm pretty popular in the Fire Pro community, and that's really the core of my community, and of course I'm trying to build that out more, and like, I've got people that watch the channel for Mech Warrior, even though I haven't been doing that as much. I honestly think I might go back to doing that more and actually maybe drop off Warframe a little bit, because at this point, like, people seem to be losing interest in Warframe, and even if they're not, I'm kind of losing interest in Warframe. I don't know. It's it's tough, because, like, I want to be excited for it, because I played it for a good long while, and it was 
fun for a while. But the problem is, as with most games, like once you get to a certain point, it stops being fun because you've kind of gotten to the point where you've done everything. And I haven't done everything in Warframe. Like it's not it's not as simple as that. Uh, but what I have done is I've basically gotten to the point where I can trivialize content really easily. I will need six of these. So I'm gonna buy six of those and I'm gonna buy three wooden stocks. One, two, three. Got to drive home, listen to you guys later. All right, Dad, I'll probably be off by the time you get home, man. But uh, thank you for dropping in. I love you guys. Bye. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I don't know. I, I think <clears throat> the place I'm in with Warframe right now, I might just drop it off the channel for a while. There's, like, one more thing I really, really want to do before we drop it. But I, I do plan to probably drop that off the channel and go to something else. And I'd like MechWarrior 5 to be that thing. Bye, Dad. I love you guys. Um, because I, I know that there were a lot of people enjoying Mech Warrior, and I, I only, like, stopped doing it because we've been doing it for so long, and I wanted to do something different with that time slot. Uh, and now the, the something different was the Warframe stuff, and it's, it's kind of where it's at, which is not where I want it to be at. Wish I knew how many of these I had in the bank. What are you doing, BB? Fishing. Are you fishing in the sewer? Yeah. Yeah, exactly, Sedge. Like, there... <laughs> Good. There were a lot of people that were enjoying MechWarrior, and I think the last time I did an episode, it actually did pretty well. Like, people were excited for it. So, if that's where it's at, and if people are more interested in MechWarrior, and I'm kind of losing my interest in Warframe anyway, um, which is... It's really sad. Like, it actually... <clears throat> water. It's really sad to, like, lose your interest in a game that you feel really, really invested in and committed to. Like, I I bought the pass for Tenocon 2020, and by the time Tenocon 2020 got here, I wasn't excited for the game anymore. And that actually makes me kind of sad. Like, that that's not a good feeling for me. Um, but I, I also think that part of that was, like, I was enjoying the flow of the game a lot without really paying attention to where that flow came from and some of the stuff behind it. Uh, so, I don't know. I, It is what it is, right? Like, you enjoy a game for a while, and then something just makes you not enjoy it anymore. And for me, what makes me not enjoy it is that, like, all of the challenge is gone now. Um, I used to play it almost every day with a very, very close friend of mine, a friend who's like a brother to me. And we, I remember the first time that we did, like, Eidolons on it, we spent an hour trying to kill one Eidolon... We didn't kill the Eidolon, we failed. He got frustrated and pissed off. And I was just like, dude, this is, we're doing something wrong. So fast forward like three days later, three days, not a week, not two weeks, not a month, three days. Three days later, and we've built specific builds for doing the Eidolon. We go in and we're down to about five minutes to kill an Eidolon. Down from not killing it in an hour. The next time we go in, we're down to four minutes. We can consistently do four to five minute Eidolons now. And all I can think is like... How did we go... From an hour of frustration... To four minutes of, okay, this is boring now. Why isn't there a stop in between that? Um, and I, I don't think that it's like DE's fault necessarily. I think the problem is that when you have a game that's been around as long as Warframe's been around and you've put as much into it and developed it as much as it's been developed, like, there's not much they could do to stop it. Like, other than overhaul the entire game. Be. What, baby? I was, sorry, I was talking to myself. This isn't where I wanted to be, I was saying. Oh, I meant okay. to go to the enchanting tailor, and I went to the, er, trainer, and I went to the tailor trainer, which is fine, because I guess I have something to train for here. Good. Hey. What? I love you. <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> she wasn't expecting that. Um, so yeah, I, I think the problem with Warframe is kind of just power creep, right? And like, what are you going to do? You're going to nerf all the stuff that people have been using for years and enjoy the brokenness of? Because if you do, then you're just going to make people angry. Like, how does that, how does that help you as a company? It really doesn't. So there's not 
a lot they can really do. Like, I know they're, they've found ways to kind of introduce some difficulty with uh, Steel Path. And Steel Path is pretty cool. Hey, what's up, Alexander Nagel? Welcome in. And uh, yeah, 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 we're... We actually, like, this was something we planned out because uh, Muerto was in college doing courses. And, like, I got really excited watching... Honestly, I got really excited watching Asmongold stream uh, WoW Classic, so I was like, you know, we should we should go back and try that together when you're on break, and that's what we're doing. Uh, and I just found out that I'm just barely, just barely shy on enough copper to make another blunderbuss. But that's okay, I can sell these two, that'll be another six gold towards my mount. Making progress. Uh, never mind the money that had to be spent on medium leather to get here. <laughs> But that's the reason I actually rolled my hunter, though, is because my hunter is leveling really quickly, and he'll be able to get me the leather that I need to keep making these. If I can keep consistently selling these, along with the other stuff I've been selling, we should be able to make enough money for the mounts by the time we get there. How are you doing on gold right now, BB? I think I just trained for that bracer thing. I had a... a formula for. Because I thought it... I thought I couldn't use it yet. Oh well. Well, fuck. Well, that's weird, because normally there's not formulas for stuff that you can train. Well, and it says I can't use... Hold on, I'm confused. I have six gold. Okay, so you're further away than I am, because I have 23. I got bracers. What is this? Oh, these are boots. So yeah, I gotta make 200 gold. <laughs> I made a druid so I could avoid saving for a mount for roleplaying purposes. <laughs> That's druids. Okay, so druid is my favorite class. Like overall, that was my first main. I used to run a druid in end of TBC and Wrath, and I would tank heal and sometimes DPS uh, because druids can do it all, and they can actually do it all really well, which is why I loved them. Uh, and yeah, that was the other reason too, is because travel form is cheaper than buying a mount. Oh, the price has gone up, baby. This is what I'm talking about. Here we go, boys. We're gonna sell those. We're gonna make some money. Um, so that'll be another four gold per gun right there. That's another eight, so that'll put me up to about 30 gold. I'll get I'll get to my hundred in time. I'll get to my hundred in time. Um, but yeah, that's that's the other reason why I rolled a mage and a hunter is because the mage gets around pretty quickly on its own with portals and blink, and the hunter gets around pretty well with uh, aspect of the cheetah and aspect of the pack. Small flame sacks sell well, and they're pretty easy to get off the little whelps in the wetlands. That's a good idea. I haven't gotten out to the wetlands yet. I hear that light feathers sell really, really well too, and I've just been stocking them up so that I can sell them all when I really they need an influx of cash. Well. I sold some in the auction house. Um, and then I've been selling deviate delights on my mage because they're able to cook those and fish them. And uh, I'm working on getting to the greater sagefish food that mages want and stuff because that's super awesome. Uh, as far as selling it goes. So I've got a lot of different little money makers going. I just haven't hit my stride where I'm just making money hand over fist. And I think a big part of it too is that I need to get organized and start actually selling stuff through my bank tune instead of just selling through individual characters. Because when you're selling through individual characters, it's easy to lose track of what you're selling. Um, and the worst thing you can possibly do is when you post something and undercut one of your other characters, which I've done once or twice so far. Uh, I'd rather avoid doing that because that's just not really conductive of, or conducive of making good money. Okay, so I think I can bank all this stuff again because I'm really not going to need it for a moment. It's kind of sad that like the best hunter weapons are bows in Classic because I can actually make cool guns and stuff. But at the same time, I should be able to make thorium arrows and now we run into one of the uh, quintessential issues. I need another bag slot. Do I spend 10 gold on a bag slot, or do I not? The answer to that is I do not. This I'm at the 10, 10 spot now, too. I just bought my last one gold one. Yeah, I'm, I'm not spending 10 gold on a bag slot, because that's just not, in my opinion, very wise. Um, I think that's a bit excessive until you have the money to do that. I might actually take this crude scope and go sell it as well. Uh, I'm just out of space to store my materials, which is problematic because it means I'll have to carry some of them with me, uh, which is not a good deal. Although, I mean, some of this stuff I don't have to keep. I got sparklers from when they had those. Um, I don't need that. I can toss that. That's just a brown shirt. 
Uh, the firework recipe I'll be able to use soon. The Big Bear Steak recipe I can send to somebody else. Uh, some of the cloth stuff I have here I can probably sell. <laughs> I live comfortably under the poverty line of Azeroth. Just dropped in to say hi. Take care, brave heroes. Right on, Alexander. You have a good day. Thanks Bye. for dropping in. Um, okay. So... I guess we could sell these. I mean, we don't really need them. I could also just give them to Muerto, because she might have need of them. You want some bolts of woolen cloth and uh, linen cloth, maybe? I don't want bolts. I'm past linen cloth, and I have a few bolts. I want the regular linen so I can uh, make bandages, so I can level that. Are you still on regular linen for your bandages? Yeah. I'll take the wool, though. I think I can... Well, I will need that when I get to wool and bandages. Uh, okay. I'll tell you what. I will give you the linen for now, and I might just... Oh, actually, you can have the wool off this guy, too. I need to well, start selling have, some of that. I have plenty of wool if you want to keep it. I have a ton. Oh, okay. If you have wool, then I'll just go sell this. Because I know I've sent oh. you a ton. Wait, wait. Don't, don't sell it. Wait a, wait a tick. Wait a tick. I have... 49 pieces of wool and five bolts right now. Okay, well, here, if you so, accept the okay, trade. Yeah, if you want to sell some of it, I think I'll be okay. It's not like I can't get more. Hey, you should close your window so I can trade you. Oh, sorry. Okay. There. I give you all that. If you don't need the bolts, you can sell them to a vendor. I don't care. Uh, the bolt of wool okay. and cloth you probably want to save, though, because you can make that into something uh, useful. Oh, I didn't have enough space for it. Give me a sec. I pulled a bunch of stuff out to work on skills. Yeah, same here. Uh, and that's one of the reasons why people say that it actually slows you down to work on professions while you're leveling, because space for professions is the biggest issue. It's nothing else. It's just the space that is uh, primarily all right, all big. Right. I should have space now. Okay. Let me just go ahead and trade you... You can sell that linen bolt if you want the money for it. Okay, I'll do that. Uh, let me pull that out. That, that, that. There you go. Okay. Yep. I'm gonna go throw the linen bolt on the auction house along with my two crude scopes and my wool cloth stack. I'm just curious how much a stack of wool cloth even goes for because I've been getting so many of them that it, like, wouldn't be a bad market for me to get There's into. There's that quest in, like, every city, too, if you give them wool. I don't know what it does. It gives you rep. Oh. It's the it's one of the only ways to easily get rep. Like, it's the farmable rep. Otherwise, you have to quest for reputation. And that I takes longer. I key anymore. Uh, let's do two stacks of one on this. There we go. And sell it. There we go. And I want to... And you said... I don't even know where it went. Never mind. I must have sold it. I guess it. I'll sell these. Five stacks of one. Or two silver apiece. Sure. Uh, this will technically sell for nine silver. Stuff like this is really weird, too, because, like, I don't know how much it even cost me to post it, but I don't know if it's worth it. Have I been posting everything at two hours? Oh, my God. Why does it do that? Mine always goes to eight hours automatically. I have to switch it. Default auction duration, 24 hours every time. Please and thank you, you stupid thing. Well, now we're we're probably losing money because we're going to have to repost this stuff if it doesn't sell. So I'm just going to have to hope that this stuff sells in like a ridiculously short amount of time. I hate that it does that. That's super dumb. That is super dumb. The price difference between selling something for like four hours and selling it for 24 is also tiny. It's like negligible. That's why you do it. Hey, I'm going to ask you a question. Uh, but now we should have enough space to at least bank some stuff, I think. Yeah, so that let me get at least my, like, trade materials back in there. Okay, I can live with that. 
I can live with that. Uh, is that recipe necessary? That's a green firework. We'll throw that back in as well. And the big bear steak we're sending off to somebody else here. I could go sell these gems, but I don't think they're actually worth very much. Uh, obviously, deviate scale also not worth a ton. If you have pearls, I'll take them. If I have pearls, I'm keeping them. I love you, but pearls are very valuable. <laughs> However, I will tell you something kind of funny. I was uh, in Ratchet, I want to say, the other day, and there's a vendor there that sells a bunch of rings, and one of them is called the Big One, and it's like a hundred gold. And I was like, it'd be really funny if I saved up and got that for Jess. <laughs> the big one. It's like, it says it's like an obnoxiously big diamond. That's what it's supposed to be. God, I wish Rough Stone sold for something. I would just sell that. This is really lame. I'm making all these linen bandages and they're yellow, so they're hardly leveling me, but I can't train until my thing's up to 80. That's pretty normal. Lame. I mean, honestly, linen is so easy to get. Day. It's not a big deal. Oh, come on. Just just get me to 80 so I can move on with my life. I'm gonna go sell some of these bandages. I haven't even done first aid on this character and I'm giving you all my linen. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but sometimes I have to use it to heal you in instances, so I try to keep it up. That's fine. I'm at 38. And I can, like I said, linen's not a problem. I can always go get more of it. If I just farm Hillsbrad Farm and the mines on my mage, I get tons of cloth. Um, the farm is better for linen, though. The cave I get, or the mine, I get a lot more wool and then a little bit of silk. The last few times I've tried to sell stuff in the auction house that hasn't sold. There's a mage next to me whose name is fucking Chill, bro. <laughs> that's, that's clever and adorable. I like it. At some point, I'd like to get enough financial well be like well enough off financially to actually make a bank guild for us, because that would be nice. Hmm. All right. Anyways, I am done doing all my profession things, BB. I just had an interesting idea. Also, did you already order the lunch? Yes! Okay, thank you. I am hungry. Um, it's still being prepared, it says. Okay, that's good. I just was making sure that we actually ordered. Yeah. Let's see. Oh no, now it says the Dasher is waiting for our order, so I should probably text them and tell them how to find our house. If let let me do this. How many people are in chat right now that would actually be interested in playing a game that doesn't install or that doesn't require them to install anything and only requires them to have access to the internet? Okay, now food's on the way. Is there anybody left in chat that actually wants to play something today? Because if you do, I think I know how we might end this off. Bueller. <laughs> Bueller. All right, so cheeseburger is down. is down. I think we can do this kind of thing with three people. It's it's generally better with more, but I think with three we'll be fine. Um, I am installing Jackbox Party Pack right now. You going to sleep in the next... 10 minutes cheeseburger or are you gonna make it for 10 minutes because we're just gonna do one game and then we'll be done with the stream i just figured it'd be fun to do something with everybody in chat before we go off the air
Okay. Hold on. Let me uh, make some settings changes here. B, I think they're going to bed. I'm going to night. Okay. Well, then I guess we don't have to do that. I just thought it'd be fun to do something for the last ten. We're good, though. Uh, maybe we'll do it next time. I got it all set, so that's fine. Next time. Dude, I need to work out more. <laughs> Why are you over there scoffing? You need to work out more, too. I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you keep giggling. I just giggle because it gets brought up every stream. Yes, it does. <laughs> Now we need to do more than just bring it up. Oh wait, that's not gonna happen. Oh, there you are. Hi. Uh, yeah, I've been here for a few minutes now. I jump higher. Wait, 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 wait. you gotta synchronize them. Wait, wait, on the count of three, ready? One, two, three. You didn't do it on three. One, two, three. You're terrible at this. You're the one counting, and you jump before you actually say it. Watch. One, two, three. We were synchronized, and you stopped. Look, now we're not synchronized anymore. <laughs> oh, that's a cool looking wolf. What is that? I like it. I like it a lot. That's probably the epic wolf mount. <laughs> this is Riveting Entertainment. What's up, Wiz? How you doing today? <laughs> hey, man, it's WoW. What is there to do other than time your jumps? We've done all our questing stuff. We came to town to do our professions and training and jumping. Okay, I know what we can do. I know what we can do. Aww, oh, dueling isn't allowed here. Why did you try and duel me? Because it's entertaining? Because you it's absolutely the have you the can... tools to... No, you absolutely have the tools to beat me. Come on, let, let's leave the city real quick. Okay, let's go see. You absolutely have the tools to beat I don't me. think it's a fair fight, but we'll try. I'm not gonna charge you and, like, go full force at you, because I want you to realize that you actually do have the kit that'll let you beat me. Okay, let's see. You've got your fear. You need to Ooh. use that. You've got your shield to protect you. You've got your inner, your inner fire. You have your dots. I have a skill point I gotta use still, too. When your shield is up and I hit you, it doesn't interrupt your spell casting, right? I don't know. I don't know. I'm pretty sure when your shield is up, it'll prevent me from interrupting your spell casting. Which means that if you put your shield up, whenever I'm not CC'd, and only then, you can use it to keep casting like Smite and Holy Fire. I don't have Holy Fire. Oh, do you have Smite? That's all I have. And my wand. Which is why I get my ass whooped. That's not why. <laughs> You literally don't know if your shield keeps you from being interrupted when you're casting your one damage spell. Can we duel out here? Yeah, if it'll let us. Not allowed here. Priests are actually supposed to be one of the best PvP classes in the game. Our food's almost here. Okay. All right. So we'll start at range. Dot. I didn't realize it started till I saw the countdown. Why are you shielding right now? In case you attack me. Why wouldn't I? You're just using your sh your staff. 
There you go. Fear me. Keep hitting me. Keep your max range, though, when you do it. Doing good. Okay. Now I'm coming back at you. I'm gonna are charge. You really, are you really coaching me? I'm trying to. Okay, now I'm going. I'm out of mana. And I'm out of range. Ah! <laughs> I need mana. So, when you cast your shield, like, right at the start of the fight like that, it basically just costs you mana for nothing. Well, I thought you'd come after me and not just stand there. But you still don't need to cast it until I'm actually hitting you. Like, you don't need to cast it until you're trying to cast Smite with me hitting you. Because that's what it's there to do, is stop me from interrupting your smite. Yeah, but I thought you'd come right after me, so I did it. Were you using mana to heal when I was feared? Or were you hitting me? Uh, the second time I used it to heal, to heal the first time I just shot you with my wand. The food's here. Okay. Well, like, I would've... So... And to be fair, you went easy on the first half, so again, that wasn't really a determinant of whether my priest could take your warrior. No, I know. I almost want to, like, switch seats and try it again. What's for food? Bagel sandwiches. Um... Because I, like, I think part of it, too, is that, like, you should have been bandaging instead of healing. Because that doesn't cost you mana. Yeah, but these linen bandages don't do shit anymore because we're such a high level. That's why I'm trying to get the wool bandage. Oh, that's a good point, too. That's actually a fair point. Um, yeah, it's it's definitely tough. And are you upgrading your spells as you level up? Like, are you upgrading yep. them on your bars? Yep. Okay. I'm just making sure. Like, I'm trying to think of anything that would make a difference. Because you should be wrecking me pretty reasonably. And, I mean, you were able to to do quite a bit of damage. Your Shadow Word Pain was hitting for 22. I was just hitting like a truck, though. I've, I have cloth armor, baby. That's true. I'm trying to tell you. I don't know if this is like a level thing or what, but it's not, it's not a fair fight. It may be a level thing. Um, I also think it's like an alternation thing, like, if, if it had been me in your shoes, I would have opened with the fear and the dot and then just kept wailing with smite. And then when I was able to close the distance, I would have put the shield up then. But you also don't have to wait for me to close. Like, the charge I have is a problem, right? Because charge allows me to close distance whether you want me to or not. Well, and you kept saying, well, does your shield protect you from that? So I put the shield on because I thought you'd do it when we started. And then you just stood there and then beat me with your stick. Well, that's what I was trying to see, is if hitting you with my stick would still interrupt your spells. I don't think it did, right? Well, I don't know, because I put the shield on. When the shield was on, was your smite getting interrupted? Mm, no, I don't think so. That's what I'm trying to tell you, B. That's what you use the shield for. The shield's not to prevent you from taking damage. The shield is to allow you to cast your damage spells. That's why you have it. It's not actually protection. Inner fire is more protection than that. Anyways, that's all I was trying to do was like show you you could use it a different way. Um, and then like the only other thing that I think would have potentially made a difference, but once again, because of the charge, it doesn't matter. You almost have to save your fear for when I charge you. Y'all, I'm going to level a warlock and whoop his ass. I mean, if you want to do that, I'm fine with that. I am absolutely fine with that. I think it'd be fun to try to PvP against the Warlock, because you'll have a pet, too. And that'll be a little bit more difficult for me to mess with. Although, what would I do against the Warlock? 
get feared and dotted to death? Well, I mean, the fear happens, the dot happens, but the dot's actually not as bad as you think it is because the damage from the dot gives me rage. So with the dot, what I would end up doing is probably charging, then going for my own fear because I have Intimidating Shout, and then once I had you... Or no, actually, I would charge and then go for Hamstring so that you can't move to get away from me as quickly. And then oh. I'd bleed you. And maybe... I don't need to Sunder Armor against you, so what, what else could I do? Anyway, I'm just... I'm down. Make your Warlock. I'm okay. having fun PvPing. Anyways, folks, that's going to be it for the, the stream today. We're going to go have lunch. Uh, thank you guys for hanging out. Much appreciation to everybody. And I will see you guys, or we will see you guys next time. Bye. Peace.